Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen from around the world to the second Tech Ball World Cup here in Rams, France. We have plenty of action to bring you over the course of this evening, but firstly, we have some very special guests to introduce to you here in the stadium. We will start with William Gallas. He is, of course, an ex-professional footballer played in a World Cup final. William, welcome to the stadium. You've been involved in football. Now you're involved in tech ball. Talk to us about the sports. Oh, I, I can't say so many things about tech ball. You know, th that new sport is unbelievable. As I start to be crazy about that sport when my friend said to me, Oh, I want to invite you to play tech ball. And I said, what is tech ball? He said, you know what? I'm going to send you the video. So he sent me that video and I said, oh, it's a nice spot. And he said to me, come to play against me. I said, oh, are you serious? And he said, yes, come to play against me and I will win. I said, I don't think so. You, you forget I was a former player. So I went to his, to his invitation and we start to play. And you know what? At the end, I lost. And I was so angry to lose against him. And then after that defeat, I start to, you know, to, to practice on the take ball table. And now I will say I'm a little bit better than before. William, clearly a big fan of tech ball and taking it very seriously. Thank you for that. Samal, Samosa, uh you yourself played at a very high level of football internationally as well as domestically. You now play tech ball. Talk to us about how you got involved in this fantastic sport. Oh, I'm ambassador, so I try to I try to, to play well because it's difficult when you, when you start to play tech ball. It's different than football. But in that table, you can win more confidence, more technique. Imagine if you are a professional, you are injury. Uh, the table is very good for recovery because when the players are, are injured you need to win confidence, you need to win more technique and uh, this, this table and this sport is important for younger players and professional players. So lots of different aspects that uh, are important for getting involved in tech ball, including recovery. Finally, we're going to talk to Robert Perez, uh, yourself a World Cup winner, now you're involved in, uh, in tech ball. Talk to us about your involvement in the sport. Yes, you know, uh, I was involved with uh, the national team uh, during uh, the World Cup, in, uh, it was in 98, so today is uh, totally different uh, because it's a new sport, it's a new, uh, new concept, it's a new, uh, new technique, uh, you need a very good uh, ability because, uh, you know, the table is very small, so uh, you need to, uh, to be very uh, focused, uh, especially with, uh, with your partner, but I think uh, tech ball they make a success in the um, yeah in the couple of uh, couple of years we are here in France for the second edition so yeah I think uh, for me it was very important to be yeah to be here because I'm ambassador for for tech ball so yeah everything it's uh, actually yeah everything it's uh, it's positive for for tech ball three pro ex-professional footballers who competed of course at the top of their level let's take a look now at how the rules of tech ball work. The rules of tech ball. A set is won by the first side to win 20 points. In the final set, it needs to be won by two clear points. A match consists of a best of three set game. The service must be undertaken with one touch from behind the two meter service line. It is forbidden to step on the service line. The movement of the ball after the serve is indifferent. The server must toss the ball from his or her hand and serve it from the air. The touch must be above the level of the playing surface. The ball can bounce anywhere on the opponent's side of the table. If the ball touches the net on a serve, then that counts as a fault. The server has two attempts to complete a successful service. The service must be undertaken with at least one leg touching the ground. 
The server must serve from between the extended imaginary lines of the tech ball table. The opponents change service after every four points. The same applies to the doubles, where the receiver pair swaps size after the change of service. If the ball bounces on the edge of the table and changes direction, it is considered an edge ball. In this case, the point needs to be repeated. This only applies if the receiver doesn't touch the ball before it bounces on the ground. A side ball is when the ball hits the side of the table below the playing surface. In this case, the point is awarded to the opponent. The players are allowed to return the ball by using any of their body parts, except their hands and arms, by touching it a maximum of three times. In doubles, the team members must pass the ball at least once to each other before returning it to the opponent's side of the table. It is forbidden to touch the ball twice consecutively with the same body parts. Whilst playing, neither the equipment nor the opponent shall be touched. If the ball bounces back from the net and the ball hasn't hit the floor or the tech ball table, then the player or team can still keep the ball in play within the number of touches allowed. It is forbidden to return the ball twice consecutively with the same body part. In doubles, the returning touch applies per team. At the moment of returning the ball, the point of the touch and every part of the body must be on the player's own side, behind the extended imaginary line of the net. In case of a let, the play must be repeated if the ball hits the net and then bounces at least three times on the opponent's side of the table. The edge ball also counts as a bounce. The returning ball must be above the extended imaginary line of the net. Yes, well hello ladies and gentlemen from across the world, welcome back then to the matches here in this fantastic Tech Ball World Cup. The first match that will take place uh, earlier, actually we saw the singles third place match, you can see that one at the top of your screen. The first match that will be taking place in just over 10 minutes time, that is the doubles third place match. We then have the singles gold match followed by the doubles gold match. Well, the arena is filling final. nicely here like for the second Tech Ball World Cup say, here in Rennes, France. Uh, just a stone's way away from Paris, which of course is the capital of France. The first World Cup being held in Budapest last year. Build up then for the first of our matches, which is the bronze doubles match. We will bring you commentary right here live of this second edition of the Tech Ball World Cup. As you can see, the crowd is Algérie. building nicely. Albany, Algérie. Aruba. Aruba. And just a run through then of all of Belgium. the 42 nations Belgique. involved in this uh, Tech Ball World Brazil. Cup. Brazil. Lots of support Cameroon. for the Brazilians. Cameroon. Make some noise. People's Republic of China. 
République populaire de Chine. Czech Republic. République Tchèque. England. Angleterre. Finland. Finlande. Germany. Allemagne. Greece. Grèce. Hungary. Hongrie. Ireland. Irlande. Israel. Israel. Italy. Italy. Japan. Japon. Kuwait. Kuwait. Lebanon. Liban. Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Malaysia. Malaisie. Malta. Malta. Mexico. Mexique. Monaco. Monaco. Montenegro. Montenegro. Morocco. Maroc. Netherlands. Peiba. New Caledonia. New Caledonia. Northern Ireland. Ireland du Nord. Pakistan. Pakistan. Poland. Polonia. Portugal. Portugal. Romania. Romania. Russia. Russie. Scotland. Ecosse. Serbia. Serbie. Spain. Espagne. Sweden. Suède. Tunisia. Tunisie. Ukraine. Ukraine. A Wales. Pays de Galles. La France. La France. La France. Woo! This is it for the 42 nations that traveled here. Let's now have a little few words of welcome from the president of the International Tech Ball Federation, Gabor Borsani. Accueillons maintenant Gabor Borsani, président de la Fédération Internationale de Tech Ball. Applaudissements, merci. Welcome, Gabor. Bonjour, président. What an atmosphere, huh? You like it. <laughs> Let's hear from you. Mr. Mayor, dear IOC members, NOC presidents, TechBall ambassadors, dear guests, and TechBall athletes of the world. Bonjour. <laughs> On behalf of the International TechBall Federation, I welcome you and thank you all most sincerely for joining us today as we officially open the finals of the second TechBall World Cup here, Rams. France. In, in particular to the mayor of France, I say thank you. Thank you for your investment, your cooperation, your hospitality, and for sharing the same ambition as us to promote TechBall to the world. TechBall is the fastest growing sport in the world. Just weeks ago, we have been recognized as an official sport by the Olympic Council of Asia. In 2017, 20 nations. In 2018, 42 nations participated at the Tech Ball World Cup representing all corners of the globe. In the finals today, we will witness athletic performance of the highest quality athletes. Compete in the true spirit of fair play, and I wish you all the very best of luck. We celebrate all of you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Merci. Thank you, Gabor, for this world of welcome. Let's now welcome on stage the Tech Ball French Association President, Joanne Elagerie. C'est au tour uh, du président de l'Association Française de Tech Ball de nous rejoindre, Monsieur Jawad El Ajri. Welcome, Jawad. Bienvenue, Président. Bonsoir à toutes et à tous. Pour ma part, je vais vous raconter une histoire. Une histoire qui a démarré il y a trois ans, 
quand un joueur de football à la retraite a rencontré trois hommes qui ont eu la folle idée de jouer au football sur une table et d'en faire un sport olympique. Aujourd'hui, cette idée nous réunit à Reims, une ville avec un patrimoine culturel et sportif si vivant qui me fait penser que cette réunion n'est pas une pure coïncidence. Comme dans toute histoire, vous avez un ensemble de personnages qui jouent un rôle important à différents niveaux. Tout d'abord, je voudrais remercier Monsieur le maire Arnaud Robinet, Arnaud Robinet et toutes ses équipes pour leur hospitalité et leur enthousiasme à déployer tous leurs efforts pour assurer le succès de cet événement et leur capacité à organiser de tels événements mondiaux. Je voudrais également remercier Madame Ella Houssine et Anthony Hugo qui ont mobilisé tous les quartiers de Reims, sans oublier l'IUT de Reims et Néo Mascoul pour leur contingent de volontaires. Je n'oublie pas nos médias locaux, Radio Jeune Reims, Good News et Champagne FM. Je tiens également à mentionner notre parrain Robert Pires, l'enfant bien-aimé de Reims. Merci Robert pour ton dévouement. Maintenant, dans chaque histoire, vous avez des personnages dont nous ne parlons pas, mais qui sont souvent ceux qui l'écrivent. Ces personnes en coulisses méritent d'être reconnues aujourd'hui. Notre succès est avant tout leur succès en raison de leur travail très dur. Un grand merci à vous, membres de l'équipe TechBall France et Aftec, pour votre engagement au quotidien et votre dévouement à la promotion du TechBall en France. Merci à toi, Najim Rougi, Anité Da Silvera, Farouk Salifou, Elisabeth Megali, Antoine Kouevidji, Lucie Ngo, ainsi que tous les autres que je n'oublie pas. Bien sûr, je remercie les trois fondateurs du TechBall, M. Victor Huzard, M. Gabor Borsani, M. Djuri Gatian, pour votre confiance au cours de toutes ces années. World is curved. Et comme, doute, et comme dans toute belle histoire, il est impossible de ne pas mettre en valeur nos héros. Vous, les joueurs, les joueurs qui êtes venus du monde entier, vous êtes nos véritables ambassadeurs et surtout les premiers héros du Tech Ball, sur le point de devenir une référence pour les générations, les générations futures. Merci mille fois. Enfin, comme je dis toujours, il n'y a pas de hasard dans la vie. Je dirais en fin de compte que ce n'est certainement pas un hasard si les premiers rois sacrés de Tech Ball en France obtiennent leur titre dans la cité des sacres. Merci encore une fois à tous et maintenant, showtime Thank you very much. Merci, Jawad. merci au, au président. Let's now hear from the mayor of Reims, Arnaud Robinet. Et nous retrouvons maintenant le maire de la ville de Reims, Arnaud Robinet. Bienvenue, bonsoir. Bonjour, monsieur le maire. Bonjour à, à toutes et à tous. Quel bonheur. Quel bonheur pour la ville de Reims d'être la capitale internationale de TechBall durant ces deux jours, voire trois jours. Un grand merci à TechBall France, un grand merci à la FITECH, un grand merci au club Rémois également de TechBall, un grand merci à toutes celles et ceux qui se sont mobilisés, les nombreux bénévoles qui nous accueillaient il y a quelques instants. Merci également à la direction des sports de la ville de Reims, à toutes ces, aux élus bien sûr que tu as cités il y a quelques instants, toutes celles et ceux qui ont permis l'organisation de ce magnifique événement. À Reims, on aime le sport, on aime les sports émergents, on aime le sport et on veut être une ville internationale, ouverte sur le monde, qui sait organiser des événements internationaux. La Coupe du monde de Tech Ball aujourd'hui, dans quelques mois la Coupe du monde de football féminin, peut-être un événement cycliste également au mois de juillet, et puis la préparation de la nouvelle Arena qui nous permettra, j'espère dans quelques années, d'accueillir encore une fois le monde du Tech Ball à Reims dans une salle de près de 6000 personnes. En tout cas, c'est le souhait que j'ai mis devant vous et ensemble, nous ferons de belles choses pour le Tech Ball à Reims. Merci à vous, belle finale à toutes et tous et à très vite. Thank you very much. Merci Monsieur, Monsieur le maire. Robinet. I'm going to translate really quick, really. Of course, he said thank you to all the organizations, the FITEC, and all the associations, the volunteers, without who nothing could be happening today. He's very proud and honored to actually welcome this international event. He, of course, also said thank you to all the officials. He wished you a great event this afternoon. And he said with the new arena, a sixth thousand seats for the next time maybe uh, Tech Ball will arrive in the Ville of Reims and he wishes you a great time. Thank you very much Mr. Robinet.
Merci, Monsieur le Maire. So now let's welcome one of the biggest ambassadors of TechBall. He is in his hometown. I am calling to join us on stage, Robert Pires. Je sais qu'il est très attendu, le champion du monde, champion d'Europe, ambassadeur du TechBall. On accueille, s'il vous plaît, chaleureusement, Monsieur Robert Pires. Welcome. Un, un mot, Robert, une, une scène magnifique, un, un mot euh, pour cette ambiance fabuleuse, pour le Tech Ball ici à Reims. Bah, un mot, euh, oui, je vais, faire, je vais faire court parce que je sais que les discours euh, sont parfois ennuyants, mais euh, déjà euh, très content, très heureux euh, et fier d'être euh, ici, chez moi, parce que euh, c'est là où tout a commencé. Je suis né ici, et moi, j'ai tout appris avec le football par rapport à sainte anne par rapport au stade de Reims. Et donc, quand euh, on a eu cette possibilité d'organiser le Tech Ball ici, euh, j'ai envie de dire sur mes terres, euh, on a tout simplement proposé euh, le projet à Monsieur le maire, qui a tout de suite aimé, qui a tout de suite adhéré à ce que euh, ce soit ici. Il y avait plusieurs villes, justement, où on pouvait organiser euh, l'événement. Reims a été choisi et c'est pour ça que j'ai fait, je pense, le, le maximum pour qu'on soit ici présent aujourd'hui. Parce que je sais que les Rémois, les Rémois aiment le sport en général, sont euh, fans de découvrir d'autres sports, d'autres disciplines. Le Techball en fait partie, je pense que le Techball a un très bel avenir. Je sais que l'objectif c'est euh, d'aller aux Jeux Olympiques, donc euh, je ferai tout ce qui est en mon pouvoir pour euh, qu'ils intègrent les Jeux Olympiques. En tout cas, le plus important aujourd'hui, c'est de découvrir une nouvelle discipline. Et je peux vous assurer qu'il y aura du spectacle. Alors, la traduction avec euh, Thank Sandy. You. I'm so sorry. No, 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 sorry. So <laughs> sorry. So, Robert is very happy, of course, to be here. Very happy to be the ambassador of Tep Goal. Very happy that uh, Mr. Robinet, the mayor, accepted the project. Because, of course, several, uh, several cities around France wanted this project. He said that Reims loves sports. They love these kind of events, and he's very happy to be with us today. We're going to do the countdown together. On va faire le décompte ensemble, Robert, n'est-ce pas Let's Pour go. lancer, c'est incroyable final. Ah oui, alors on va lancer oui, effectivement euh, ces différents pour le et On va compter tous avec ensemble. Un, un décompte et on compte sur vous tous hein, pour participer avec euh, bruit, Robert Pires. Attention, 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 7 6, 6, 5, 5 allez 4, 3, 2, 1. Let the show begin!
Well, what a show we have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. This then confirmation of the matches we will be bringing you over the course of this evening. In a few moments' time, it will be the doubles third place bronze match between Romania and Brazil. We will then bring you the singles final between also Romania and Hungary. And then the doubles final, the grand final just after six o'clock. We'll uh, follow that match, uh, Montenegro taking on Hungary. This then is the fantastic Tech Ball Arena, positioned inside the centre of the stadium, a pretty packed stadium, as I'm sure you can see. And uh, we are getting ready to uh, welcome on the teams for the day. A big round of applause, as you can imagine. And uh, this is the team of Brazil just making their way out onto uh, the arena. And in a moment's time, we're going to introduce our co-commentator. It is, of course, uh, William Gallas, but we will grab a word with him in just a moment's time. Hello. Just uh, Waiting then for the second team for this uh, bronze doubles match to make their way out. It is uh, made up uh, of a team from Romania, Zabolcha Ilyes and uh, Jolt Lazar. They will be taking on, of course, Natalia Gudler and uh, Marcos Vieira da Silva. Right, I promised uh, we would introduce our co-commentator. I'm sure those of you watching at home are very excited to hear from him. We actually heard a, a brief hello from him a moment ago. It is with great pleasure I can introduce to you William Gallas. William, welcome to the commentary box here in the uh, Tech Ball final. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to, to be here because uh, Tech Ball is a, is a new sport and I'm sure we're going to have a good fun today. This is, of course, a doubles match, isn't it? And I guess the idea of the doubles is it's quite frantic, isn't it? Because there's obviously two players on each team and uh, things can get pretty crazy. You play some doubles, I assume, yourself over your career in tech ball. Yeah, I had the opportunity to, to play that sport and um, what I can tell you is very, is very difficult, but at the same time, it's, a, it's very it's a good fun. So today we're going to see the the team from Romania last year they they, they won that uh, World Cup and uh, they have to play today against Brazil and uh, as we can see is a girl is a woman who play for Brazil so it will be very interested to see how she play and this is one of the great things about tech ball is teams often consist of both male and female athletes there's no contact in this sport and that's one of the great things i think about tech ball is that it's uh, it's pretty much anyone can get involved and uh, we have teams of uh, both male and uh, male and female yeah because everybody can be involved uh, what you have to do is just to practice almost every day you know to to try to improve your quality you know your technique and uh, that's why that sport is so great because like you said a woman can play with a boy or they can play against each other and the most important is to win at the end and uh, everything is about the quality and how you play so this then is the coin toss to decide uh, who is going to be serving first? The serves work in sets of four. Which four side? serves like coming from uh, each yes. team, Brazil then they rotate. Which team and it uh, looks serving? to me like uh, Brazil, Brazil have won serving. the coin toss. So uh, I think it's possibly going to be Brazil first. that will, will be first. serving first. And this is a, a good Brazilian first. team okay. um, minute, made up of Natalia Gutler and good Marcos luck. Vieira da Silva. Natalia Gutler. I've been watching her actually throughout the course of the qualifications and indeed in the singles uh, just as the players begin warming up and Natalia is a very very good player and someone I'm sure we're going to enjoy watching in this uh, in this bronze match William yeah I'm sure right now I can see she got her she got the right quality and if we can see on their face the both the both team are very focused look look at her how she's focused about uh, the first touch she has to do and that's why that spot is not easy and that gives you the opportunity to prove your, your your technique but at the same time you have to communicate with your with your opponent William you've played football at the absolute highest level you've played in a World Cup final back in 2006 uh, you've won many many trophies over the course of your career 
obviously as a footballer you're well decorated how do your skills as a footballer compare to the skills you acquire uh, on the tech ball arena to be honest it's completely it's completely different but what i like with tech ball you can really really improve your 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 technique and uh, you have to think uh, very quick that that is a different with the uh, with the uh, football in football is 11 players or less than 22 players who are involved but right now it's only four players so that means when you play with your teammate thank you you know you can't make a mistake so that's why that that game is so difficult to play but it's very excited and we will see how the both team is going to play Brazil obviously uh, exceptional in the uh, history of uh, football uh, well supported here in a uh, tech ball can I say lots of Brazilians coming to support their team and uh, I think uh, there is something uh, the Brazilians know that uh, perhaps the rest of the world is still learning because they are at the top of the game not only in football but in tech ball as well yeah, but, yeah because uh, uh, the Brazil you know in football they have that Brazil reputation they were the best the best country in the world so right now they want to show they are good as well at the at the tech ball so that's why it will be very interested to see the game today here we go then underway in the first of our four matches that we're going to be bringing you coverage of here live and uh, the first points then going the way then of Romania as the ball was just out in comes the serve then from Brazil both players have for fall that was it yep so that's uh, that white line you can see there. The uh, player cannot cross that white line, so a good spot there by the referee. Out wide then to Natalia, who heads it back in. There's a smash, kept alive well there by Brazil. This is a fantastic rally to get things underway. Big head, kept alive. Romania looking to double their early advantage, but Brazil really making a good go of this. And that point, I think, did that go the way of Brazil? William, you probably had a better view of that than I did. Yeah, but what you can see you know you have to you have to think very quick you have to react as well very quick and you have to guess where uh, the ball will will go so that's why everything is about communication with your partner and like i said there's a lot of pressure on the shoulder of the both of the both team so it's a little bit like the football you know because when you play in front uh, 40,000 people you got the pressure Today is not 40,000. It's maybe, I will say, maybe what? Service. Maybe 1,000 or maybe less than 1,000, but it's still the pressure on your shoulder because you don't want to miss your control or your pass. I would hazard, hazard a guess to say there's uh, maybe two, 3,000 people in this arena. Uh, but the pressure is obviously there playing in front of the people. We're going to go through some of the rules of uh, tech ball as the uh, day goes point on. And if Brazil. you're wondering why the point didn't go the way of Romania uh, in the previous point was because it was an edge ball and they replayed the point and uh, also one thing worth pointing out at this point is they can't make contact with the table uh, that was the head out wide there from Brazil First service and we will uh, double check it is now 2-1 so players second getting uh, two opportunities to serve I think that was a footfall so in comes the second serve from Brazil smashed out. by Romania but point that was long fists uh, pumped up high there by uh, Natalia Goidla and it levels the score at two. Change of service. Yeah, uh, the Romanians have tried to, to get one point but they make a, they make a mistake. The ball, the ball was too long. First so that's why service. in that spot you have to be very perfectionist. You know, Out. you have to be very uh, focused about your touch on what you're going to do. Let's, let's make some comparisons between other sports because obviously in tennis we know how important the first serve can be. How important is the uh, first serve uh, in tech ball it's the same like a tennis if you if your first serve is is great it will be difficult for your opponent to to to, to get the ball Brazil. so so everything is about practice everything is about training and i'm sure the both team you know they, they practice uh hours and hours first during the service. week so how we can see for example for the romania he Second tried to service. make his first serve with the knee so he didn't make it so he got the second serve and normally you see he will use his head just to be sure the ball go on the table 
That certainly seems to be a trend that uh, a lot of the players seem to follow. They will do their second serve with the head just to make sure it's a bit more precise. This is a good rally though going on at the moment. 2-3, the score to Brazil who were 2-0 down, but uh, that's uh, just Bobby. wide there from Natalia and that levels Bobby. the score at uh, three points all. Thank you. So we can see uh, the road service. to the uh, bronze medal match for Brazil. Four. They've had to uh, beat some Second pretty good service. teams. Uh, Portugal in the quarterfinals. They had to uh, beat Germany Point in the Brazil. round of 16. And there was a foot fault on the second service there, so a double fault uh, coming the way there of Romania, restoring a one-point lead to Brazil in the early stages of this uh, bronze medal match. This is, of course, a uh, best of three sets. The uh, qualifying rounds and the rounds before this were just one set. Out wide and a header back in, chested to the back of the table there by Natalia, kept up in the air. And uh, had a just long Point there to Romania. by uh, Marcos Vieira de Silva. Change of service. And uh, the scores were all very close this uh, bronze medal match. Yeah, that game, that game is very close, but if you Third see on the service. side of the Brazilian team, you know, they, they had a little argument, you know, because, uh, you know, they lost that point. And like I said, it's a lot of pressure on Illegal their shoulder attack. and when you have a pressure you know Point sometimes to you, Brazil. You, you can lose your head you know but like I said the communication is very important and we First can see it's service. very intense yeah they are locked in conversation aren't they so let's just see how this uh, affects the game for the Brazilians at the moment it, they won the last point so maybe that's uh, worked their advantage play back in and headed there by Natalia and there's the smash well defended, but uh, not Point quite managed to be brought back in, and that's good stuff there from uh, Romania. Leveling the score at 5 all. That, I believe, was Lazar with the smash there. First service. So Lazar at the back of the air court will be receiving. Out. The first serve Second is service. long, and that's a headed first serve, which you don't always see. To be honest, you know, me, I always serve with my head, you know, <laughs> just to be sure the yeah. ball, the ball Both go, go on the another side. I, I never try to, to serve for my first serve to, with the knee, first you know, so it, I use always the head. Safety first. Yeah. So 6-5 to score, Romania just uh, defending here, they're going to have some work to do. And up against the uh, net, it was a uh, good effort there. Uh, the score is level at six Change of service. Ooh, we were expecting this to be tight. Uh, William said uh, to us earlier that uh, Romania were the champions in the previous First World Cup service. in Hungary. Were you at that World Cup, William? Yeah, I was there. I was invited by the by the president of of uh, Tech Ball, and what I can tell you, the atmosphere was unbelievable. And Romania, they they play the final against against Hungary and unfortunately for Hungary they, they lost that, that final. But Hungary do have a chance to make amends for that. They will be Point featuring in Romania. a gold doubles final a little bit later this evening against Montenegro. A team made up of uh, Chaba Banyek and Adam uh, Blasevic. They'll be taking on Montenegro's uh, Bogdan Marujevic and uh, Nikola Mitro. That one a little bit later but it is of course the bronze medal match. The uh, battle for third place here. It's very close indeed. Romania just ahead at the moment, although close to the commentator, that uh, was wide. Uh, the score is leveled at seven points off. So just to talk through uh, some of the rules again, whilst we have a very brief break in play. If the ball clips uh, the edge of the table, that's of course called an edge ball, isn't it? And that uh, essentially means that uh, the, the point is replayed, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, so that's why that's why you have you have to be sure you know the ball we get onto another side and try to do your your best. Point so that's why the tech ball you know we got some rules and is very interested to play to play tech ball. Yeah, there are some uh, interesting rules which we will of course uh, endeavour to go through. The uh, players can't uh, use the same body part consecutively to return the ball. So for example, if uh, Natalia returned with her left leg and then uh, 
her teammate also returned with his left leg, then uh, Change of De Silva would be uh, penalised for that First and they would lose a point. Service. So uh, you have to make sure that you uh, pay attention to that. Right, a two-point gap ah. opened up here. Second and uh, this will be a second serve then for Romania. Uh, sorry, for Brazil. Romania defending at the moment. There comes a smash. It's attempted to be defended. Kept alive at the end there by the silver, but uh, it is in vain. And uh, Romania starting to open up a little bit of a lead here. Yeah, it looked like it looked like service. Romania, you know, even if they got some pressure on their shoulder, Four. you can see they got, they got experience. I think, I think the Brazilian team has too much pressure. Especially Natalia, you know, she 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 speak a lot to to her partner. She look like she is a little bit nervous, so maybe she has to. She oh. Has, oh, that's good uh, stuff. It's unfortunate. Yeah. They just ran out of room, I think, in the end, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. So that's why, like I said before, you have to you have to try to guess where the ball will bend on the table and try to get the best position. To, to to get the ball but unfortunately you know the Romania they got the, the nice technique Second and they know service. what they do exactly an important phase of the match this then for Brazil they trial by four points they're gonna have to try and uh, keep themselves in this it's a uh, set up there for Natalia to uh, bring the ball back into play no pass. point to Brazil so the ball was returned straight away there from uh, Romania, they have to use both players, and he's uh, hit the ball back in without passing to his teammates. Brazil, the point sorry. goes the way of Brazil, and there you can see Natalia pumped and uh, ready to try and uh, close service. down that point deficit. Out. Second service. Point to Romania. So that point going away then of Romania. The score's now 12.28. You did feel for a second there that Brazil might be pumped up and uh, might be able to work their way back into this opening set. The best of three sets. First to 20 points here in this bronze Change medal match. I'm joined Romania by William serve. Gallas in the commentary box if you're just tuning in. First service. And uh, the atmosphere just building up a notch here in this impressive arena here in Rennes, France. And Point once again, the smash coming in from Romania. And I can tell you the noise levels are about to uh, go through the roof, William, because it looks uh, to me like uh, some of the uh, volunteers here are giving some uh, vuvuzelas to the crowd. Yeah, that is very, that is very great, you know, for the fans, you know, to make a noise, you know, to support their team. And that, that is amazing. What's it like playing in a match when those noise levels uh, go up a, a notch uh, in, you know, the, the 2010 World Cup? Uh, well, I think it was in South Africa when the Bubu Zellers first came on the scene. It was a little bit, diff it was little bit different because on the pitch we, we could not speak with our teammate because the noise was, was too much. But at the same time it was very exciting because we we knew our fan was support us and we tried to 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 do our best it was not easy but like today you know we can we can hear a lot of noise and the, for example the fan of brazil tried to support their team you know because they want them to come back to the game but at the moment it looked like it's a little bit difficult for for brazil yeah, at the moment that gap has opened up to five points. So Romania fully in charge in this uh, opening set as things stand. It was very close in the opening few points. That uh, went the way of Romania at that point. So it was an ace. So uh, I think that's our first ace of the day. Yeah, the first one. But I'm sure we're going to see another ace. Looks for a second like it might have just clipped the edge, but uh, the referee Point saying no. And uh, well, Romania are on a charge here. 16 points to nine. They Final lead our defending uh, champions from uh, last year. They won't be winning gold again this year. Timeout called then. Romania in a commanding seven point lead. 
and talk to us uh, about what, what it's like. I mean, these players will obviously have been building up to this and now they've done their qualifying matches uh, in front of a smaller crowd. But now, of course, they're playing in front of this packed crowd. How much does playing in front of people make a difference to your performance? It's different because you start to be a little bit nervous. Uh, we can see the Brazilian team, they are really, really nervous because they know if they, if they lost today, they are out. And that is a thing in the big, big competition. You have to keep your, your calm, you have to be very calm, you know, you have to, to be focused about uh, what you have to do when, when you play, about your first touch and the, and the players who have the most experience, normally they will go through. So that's why if we compare the Romania team and the Brazilian team, we can see the Romania, they got, they got more experience, like I said, Last year they were a champion, they know what they have to do, they know the first touch is very important and Brazil is their first time. So, but I'm sure Brazil, you know, they can come back to that game. Well, you can see the uh, latter stages of this first set, Romania has been on a charge and have won a lot of those points. Uh, we saw a replay a moment ago of that ace uh, from Romania. Brazil having some stern words Second. with each other on these sidelines to try and work their way back into this bronze medal match. At the moment it is heading the way of Romania, Romania. and that is another point and they open up. No, I think, yep, it's gone back to referee and that will wait for confirmation. Yes, it did go the way of Romania. So we have a change of serve here. The four serves coming from Romania, 17-9 the score. And Natalia just and long back. there with uh, her headed attempt. In fact, she was over the line, I think. So, first service. It did go the point uh, the way of Brazil. The atmosphere really has raised the level here point in, uh, in this uh, arena. Yeah, the, the atmosphere is. It's great, you know, people, they, they like to, to do some Romania noise. We can see the, some fans, you know, from every country. First and service. that's what we like in, in, the, in the sport. Four, second service. So we are getting close then to the uh, pinnacle of this first set. Four, double fault. Point that was a double Brazil. fault, though. So uh, Brazil will not have to defend the set point quite yet. 18-11 the score. And there's the smash by De Silva. It is long, Pierre De Silva. And First service. 18-12 the score. Oh, and it just clips the top of the net and goes out. And this uh, sets up our first set points, I believe. One minute break. Now you can see they're just uh, out wide clipping the net there. You know, the silver. In fact, no, that was, a, in fact, set points. So ignore our scoreboards there. That indeed does conclude the end of the first set. Going the way of Romania who take the advantage, the one set uh, to nil lead. William, great first set that. Yeah, yeah, it was very tight at the beginning and slowly, slowly uh, Brazil start to, be, start to be nervous, so that's why they lost some points. And I think the points they lost is uh, because they were too nervous. And Romania, they got experience, they're not that game very well, they won it last, la, last season, and if we can see, they got, they got uh, someone who are talking to them, and the Brazil, they are only two, they don't, they don't have like, they don't have a manager. Well, let's just have a quick look at the uh, statistics from that uh, opening set. And you can see Brazil with more touches, uh, but uh, Romania with a greater number of uh, serves. I wonder if that uh, was um, particularly uh, 
crucial in uh, in the first set, whether or not that made a big difference. We'll see in uh, this second set whether or not uh, Romania can keep up those stats. Are you? We are beginning the second set, but it is time now to say goodbye, sadly, to uh, William Gallas, uh, who is off to go and do some other duties here in the arena. But just like to say thank you, William, for your experience here commentating, and uh, we look forward to watching you in the All-Stars match a little oh, bit later. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of pressure on my shoulder when, <laughs> I will be, when I will play tech ball. Thank you very much. William, thank you. Thanks. Point to Romania. So William Gallas will be uh, leaving the uh, commentary box. And uh, Romania picking up where Third they left off uh, in this uh, second set. Two points to one they lead in the opening stages. And we saw, didn't we, in that first set, the uh, first serve seemed to be crucial for the Romanians. Much uh, higher percentage of first serves going in. This is a close rally there, isn't it? There comes the stab out wide there from Natalia. And smashed home there from Point Romania, Romania, meaning they are three points to one to the good. Change of service. So Let's William Gallas has uh, made his way from the commentary box. And uh, we are now joined uh, in a moment's time by uh, another one of our experts here. And we'll introduce him in Four. just a moment's time. There Second is the fault there from Natalia. Point to Brazil. So 3-2 the score in Sorry, the uh, yes. early parts of this uh, fault? second set. Second That's a uh, fault there from Natalia. In comes the second serve. Out wide then and they're headed up high. Uh, by Diego de Silva and wide right there Point from Romania the, the scores leveled at three points all right it is time now to welcome to the commentary box Barna uh, Kovacvi Barna welcome you've got tough uh, big shoes to follow William Gallas was sat in that seat a moment ago just uh, introduce yourself Sorry. and tell us your involvement in tech ball well, well it's a huge change oh. <laughs> after William Second Gallas I'm service. just a um, simple uh, tech ball player I play in Hungary where the sport was invented and uh, actually I uh, reached the quarterfinals this year uh, during the Hungarian qualification and uh, reached the third place in doubles. So I, I couldn't be here as a player, but I'm, I'm glad that I can be here as, a, as an organizer. Barna, we are glad to have First you here. And uh, Barna's uh, job today is to add a little bit of expertise uh, to the proceedings. Uh, what is going to be going through the heads of uh, Brazil at the moment? 4-3 up uh, in the second set, but uh, well beaten in, in the first. Yeah, I think that uh, Romania will uh, manage this uh, from now on because um, they were uh, the favorites uh, uh, before the game and um, by winning the first set uh, their chances are, uh, are increasing. So I think that the Brazilians in a very tough situation right now. So Brazil will have to uh, remain service. focused. Uh, in this uh, second service, second set and edge ball, then resetting the points for three. The score. Just a reminder then that both players in doubles have to make contact with the ball, otherwise the point goes away of the opposition. Good defence that though by Brazil and a great header up high there by Vieira da Silva. Point to Romania. And the point goes the way there of, and it's because both both feet were off the ground. But that's okay, isn't it? You have to keep one foot on the yeah, ground yeah, for the yeah, serve, that, don't you? But that's okay if uh, if you uh, play it with your serve. head. I think that he used his uh, head for the Third second time. Service. So uh, used the uh, returned with a head for two points in a row. You can't return with two points. And uh, point would that have counted as an edge ball if he'd left that? This from that serve? This serve? No, this serve was, was okay. But how do you have, how do you have left it? Because it looked like it clipped off the edge, but not the case. Just, you First say it wasn't, it wasn't an edge ball. It, it was okay. It wasn't an edge ball, yeah. yeah. So it, it's really hard to, 
to receive these uh, serves with the knee. These are uh, very tricky serves, and we can say that these serves are uh, Romanian specialty because uh, all the Romanian guys uh, uh, try to use, uh, uh, or not just trying, they are using their knees for the first serve. And you saw at the end of that uh, first set, we uh, spoke about it a moment ago, just how high the uh, percentage of uh, first serves for the Romanians were. Uh, I think it was something like 57% of first serves going in compared to somewhere in the 30s for Brazil. So that first serve is a, was certainly a factor in the opening set. Yeah, because first Brazil is trying service. to smash the ball on the first serve, which is very good if, it, uh, if it's good. If it comes off, uh, yeah. Yeah, if it comes off, but, uh, but the, the knee serve is, is a much more stable serve, and, uh, and it's good if it uh, goes very high up in the air. Oh, that's fantastic stuff there from uh, Natalia Boydler. She uh, just about managed not to cross the imaginary line uh, by the net. You're going to see here on the replay just how close she got. Not quite, but if you imagine the net has an imaginary line going all the way to the side, if the players cross that with any body part, then the uh, point goes the way of the opposition. Uh, but Natalia Boydler just uh, getting caught out, I think, by that rule there because the score is six points to five. Out. Point to Romania. Change of service. So seven points to five, and it was uh, about this serve. point in the first set that we saw Romania start to pull away. Yeah, it's um, first it's service. only seven five now, so only two points difference. But uh, Romania is receiving now, so if um, Sabolch can receive the balls point well, then they can. Um, um, lead by more and more points uh, and yet, because Lazar smashes it very good but that was an ace again so it's a point for Brazil it's, it's really uh, rare to see aces on, on the serve but uh, uh, and it's very risky but as you can Four. see it, it was good Second and service. you can see uh, Vieira da Silva just uh, trying to get the crowd to work to uh, his favor really gearing up some noise here uh, in this bronze medal point match and Brazil. Uh, Brazil starting to put together a little run here seven all the score yeah, they are making very hard decision um, situations on the serve Service. for Romania. So Lazar can't really have uh, good positions uh, after the receiving. So he can't really smash the ball after the receiving. The receiving is the key in the game. So if, if the receiver player uh, passes the ball uh, in a good way to his partner, then uh, Lazar is a player who can who can really kill the balls uh, uh, with his smashes. But Marcos uh, handles these smashes well. And it's called a uh, harvester when a player shortens the ball during game day. So, for example, if they header the ball and it lands in the middle of the table, that's referred to as a harvester, I think I'm right in saying. Yeah, it's a, a short ball is always a... Uh, a uh, good way to to change the smashes if you don't have uh, if you can't use your right leg again uh, but it uh, it depends on the Second execution service. if if you're um, uh, if you try to shorten the ball but it bounces on the middle of the table then it's a very easy ball for the opponent team so you have to think of a, a harvester as a bit like a, a drop shot as you can see but, yeah, that was a very good drop shot yeah as you can see uh, the goidler just uh, desperately um, reaching forward for the ball there change of service Romania to serve so it was uh, and Marcos, Marcos was on the uh, other side he was on the opponent service. side but as you know he can re still return the ball to, to her partner uh, but, but he couldn't but that would be okay point to Romania <laughs> well uh, perhaps uh, Vieira de Silva <laughs> a little bit dramatic there just uh, sliding across the table obviously you're not allowed to make contact with the table and uh, yeah, you can't make contact with the table, even with your uh, fingertip, but <laughs> that was his whole body on the table, so... So you can see sweaty palms, it is very warm in here. Even warmer for the guys in the uh, centre of the arena, with the uh, bright lights shining down on them in this uh, bronze medal match. Chested and then headed out wide there by Vieira de Silva. The edge ball just kept alive there by uh, Goidler. That was an edge ball, yeah. Natalia could have let it uh, bounce on the ground and then, it, then they would have to return the ball. Uh. There was a smash header there by Guerra de Silva. The crowd absolutely loving that. 
bringing it back to nine points uh, to eight. And that's why it was a good decision from uh, Natalia not uh, having let the uh, ball bounce on the ground because they kept the uh, rally continuing and uh, and they win the point after all. So with an edge ball, if the uh, opponent chooses to continue the point by uh, not letting it touch the floor, then it is continued. And another great header out wide there from Vieira uh, de Silva, yeah, leveling the score at uh, nine points all. And uh, well, you feel this is a key point in the match for Brazil. First service. Yeah, but that was an edge ball, so. Fall. Second service. It clipped the edge, didn't it? So the uh, point has to be replayed. Yeah, so exactly. Nine points to eight. Out. And uh, the attempted smash three, is yeah. wide. He had uh, left himself a lot to do there, Fiori de Silva. Just uh, heading the ball beyond First the imaginary service. line of the net, bringing it back into play, but uh, heading it wide. Ten points to eight. The communication between the two Brazilians. Romania still in charge, though, here. This is going to be difficult, but just long there point from Vieira de Silva and a three-point gap for Romania. First service. It's very difficult to return the ball from meters behind Out. the table, so... Second service. Second serve coming in then for Romania. Very consistent with those knee serves and there's the... Uh, Smashed header by uh, Vieira de Silva, gets himself back wonderfully to defend that. Now he's out wide, there's the header against the net. Point for Romania. And again, one thing I've noticed about this Romanian team is they're consistent, aren't they? They're consistent with their play. Change of service. Yeah, they are very consistent. Uh, Brazil tries to uh, do more spectacular moves, uh, moves, uh, you know, from footfully, but um, uh, it looks like... Um, Romania uh, at the moment, um, it looks like they are more practiced on uh, tag ball. Out. Second service. So 12-8 the score. We are once again seeing Romania open up a bit of a gap uh, in the middle part of this set. If they were to win this, they would indeed win that uh, bronze medal here in the second ever Tech Ball World Cup in Krems. France, uh, not too far away from Paris, and there comes the smash, but kept alive that by Vieira de Silva. Great rally, this, and there was the uh, shortened shot by Romania. Lazar just uh, dinks the ball. This is a fantastic rally. I think the longest rally of this match that we've seen so far, but I think that was contact with the table there from uh, Goitler, and the point goes the way of Romania, who now open up a five point gap. It's a fight from Gap now. I, I think it was a repeated touch. Uh, First service. We can't see it from the slow motion right now. No, I, I, I think the referee just made a bad call uh, because... Uh, Maybe there was contact with the table. That's, that was my initial impression with that right foot. Might have just clipped the table, but we'll... Uh, Maybe from Marcos, yeah. So you can see both the uh, Romanians on the same side of the table there. And a uh, very offensive play. 14-8 the score. First service. Edge ball. New first service. Fault. Second service. So 14-8 the score and it is going the way of Romania at the moment. They lead by a set to nil and you can hear the uh, sound levels are really raising here in this uh, bronze medal match in the World Cup. And, uh, once again the point is going the way of Romania. Guerrero de Silva doesn't seem to think so but uh, it went underneath the line of the net as you'll see here in the yet. Yeah. It was a good try, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good try. Uh, Marcus is really enjoying the final here. Uh, the bronze medal. Out. Out. Second service. So, second serve. Natalia Kuitla from Brazil. Hooks it up to her teammate. Headed down by uh, Natalia. 
Oh, and it clips the net, which means it's a let, I believe, isn't it? No, it's it's point to Brazil, but I'm not sure why. I, I see that the Romanian guys are also confused because it it, it touched the net, but then it bounced uh, three times on the table. So. Ball, please. Ball, please. So just explain Ball. that rule to okay. us. Yeah, it's an interesting rule. If if the ball bounces on the net and then bounces at three times on the table, then it's a repeated point. Uh, that's considered a let, isn't it? Yeah, that's considered a let. Oh, so it, it, yeah, this is the replay then earlier of uh, uh, Vieira de Silva just uh, getting caught out uh, crossing the line of the nets. Players just complaining about uh, a little bit of uh, moisture on the uh, side of the table. And I can tell you, the noise levels are really starting to rise. Oh, so he's fallen on the uh, floor there, and that's where that little patch of uh, moisture has come from. Sweaty patch of uh, <laughs> moisture on the ground there from Vieira de Silva. It's all cleaned up now, though. And play resumes. And uh, Oh, yeah, just uh, long there with the header and we're not too far away from our first uh, match point of the evening point to Brazil. Well, Brazil still believe they can get themselves back into this match and this noise from the crowd in here may well just help them on the way this is the bronze medal match of the second world cup the second tech war world cup here in Rennes, france brazil still alive at the moment but uh, up against it and uh, that went along i believe and it will be another point going away of brazil it's always really hard for uh, one team to finish the match so, as we can see, Romania made a few, is making a few mistakes right now, but uh, I think they are going to hold on to this lead and they are going to win the match. Well, just as you say that, they move into, I believe, a 17-10 advantage. So, Lazar with the serve, and that's uh, just long, so we'll have a second serve. And the way the table dips at the end is very difficult to defend on the serve, isn't it? You mean uh, the shape of the table? Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is very hard if, you, uh, if the ball bounces on the end of the table because it bounces in a clearly um, different way from, from a regular table tennis table. Change of service. And uh, that's been called as a side ball, which is uh, when the ball clips the uh, side of the table and in doing so it means you lose the points. Yeah, it is very hard to tell the difference between the edge ball and the side ball but the referee made a good call because this was a side ball. So second serve here for Vieira de Silva. Brazil up against it. They lose this point, they will be match point down. Lazar with a oh that's unbelievable surely you can't keep this going can it oh what a warm round of applause from the crowd in here because uh, Vieira de Silva with the acrobatics in a very impressive attempt to keep this rally going but uh, sadly he for uh, Brazil he wasn't able to and it is now match points this move is beautiful from uh, Marcus uh, because he's a football player, so he's used to moves like this. Well, that was nice. That was nice. Yep. Yeah. So uh, keeping this match alive, Vieira de Silva pulling out some pretty impressive moves in the uh, final stages of this uh, second Tech Ball World Cup bronze game between Brazil and Romania. Second serve. Second serve. Match points. Last year's 
defending champions looking to take home a bronze medal this year and they're in a very good position to do so at the moment so match point out wide there's a drop there by Lazar headed forward there by Natalia could this be the moment defended well by Natalia kept up in the air by the silver in the out wide Lazar with the smash and that indeed is that it is Romania who take home the bronze medal after a very entertaining match Brazil did everything they could to try and keep this match alive some fantastic acrobatics from the silver at the end but it is the team of Romania Zabolch Ilyes and Jod Lazar who will be taking home bronze winning both sets 20 points to 11 two sets to nil they win the second technical World Cup doubles bronze medal match. And I think uh, in the end, a deserved victory for Romania. They were absolutely unstoppable in that match. Yeah, Romania played uh, very good during the whole game, so no surprises here. Romania is the better team right now. see then some highlights of uh, some of the uh, impressive moments and here you can see Vieira de Silva getting up high the shoulder obviously not part of the arm you can use anybody part in tech ball other than the arm and there was that slide from Vieira de Silva but it is indeed Romania who are controlling a lot of points and look at that absolutely fantastic acrobatics and uh, left himself up on taboo, didn't he? But Fantastic moves from Brazil. They use the, their chest, their shoulder, every part of their body during the game. Um, but this is not what matters in tag ball. If you are a good smasher, if you are, if you um, if you play the ball with your head good, then it's enough. It's enough to win. So here then, completion of the match statistics and those first serves from Romania, 61% versus 23 of Brazil were uh, very much uh, important, although of the 23%, 57% of those first serve points were won by Brazil, so if they got a few more of them in, maybe it would have been a bit of a closer match. Two aces each per team, five winners from Romania. But quite a few unforced errors as well from uh, Brazil at the N24. And it is Romania who are the bronze medalists. So yeah, you can see the communication between Brazil was key throughout this match. Just uh, not quite clicking together for them, but they were up against a very tough Romanian side. Yeah, and uh, as we could see that uh, the Brazilian side made a lot of unforced errors. So I think that was the key, uh, that they risked a lot and, and they couldn't uh, find a solution against the, the Romanian play. <laughs> So we will uh, have a second uh, guest commentator to uh, bring you a very special guest. It is indeed a World Cup winner who will be sitting in the commentary box here. A World Cup winner, Robert Perez, will be making his way to the commentary box shortly. William Gallas, meanwhile, has made his way down onto the stage. We're uh, keeping these uh, VIP guests very busy, I can assure you that. Thank you. 
of the crowd enjoying themselves here in the arena. Plenty of noise, I can assure you of that. As uh, Robert Perez is a few moments away from making his way to the commentary box, we say thank you to uh, Barna Kovac V. Thanks for joining us. We'll uh, catch up with you a little bit later, Barna. Thank you. game today and we already moved on to the final with the single final. Ah, Est-ce que ça va toujours Renetis? Alors nous allons passer à So it is now time for our first final of the afternoon and here indeed is the road to the finals for our two participating uh, single finalists. Barna Cechi from uh, Romania getting past uh, some difficult opposition. Uh, he will be, of course, meeting uh, Arpad Shipos from Hungary in the final. And this is uh, Arpad Shipos making his way uh, out onto the arena for the singles final. In a moment, I'm going to introduce my uh, next special guest here in the commentary box, but we'll just uh, introduce the uh, players onto the arena. He uh, is getting a lot of photos taken with various members of the public. But uh, we can confirm now, uh, out onto the court comes Bana Sechi from Romania. It is Romania versus Hungary. Arpad Shipos taking Bana Sechi. Okay, it is now time to introduce our second guest commentator. We had William Gallas. Now we have Robert Perez. Robert, welcome to the commentary box. It's a pleasure to have you here. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much. You've, uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here with you. You've uh, won the World Cup with France. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think that's probably a good point to start, isn't it? Your greatest achievement <laughs> yes. as a footballer, is it fair to say? Um, yeah, we know. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's the same because when you when you play a competition like uh, the World Cup, uh, you play for your country, you play for your flag. So, of course, in '98, for example, we played the World Cup in France. It was a special moment, and um, yeah, we we won the yeah we won the, the competition. Of course, uh, this is uh, the maximum you you want. Uh, when you play uh, football, but uh, you know uh, we are here in Rams today for the guys. It's, uh, it's the same. It's a World Cup. It's a, a very good competition. So all of them they want to uh, yeah to leave the trophy at the end of the, the, competi the competition. So, so I think yeah, football and football is uh, similar because we talk about World Cup. Well, that's a nicely brought background actually, isn't it? As uh, we see uh, the statistics uh, for um, our. 
uh, Romanian athletes and it's a nice uh, comparison isn't it because obviously we were talking about you playing and winning a World Cup final this is what uh, these guys uh, are going to be doing themselves isn't it? they're competing in a World Cup and uh, they're potentially going to go away with a World Cup winners medal as well <laughs> yes but uh, you know we, it's, it's football today but um, it's not really the same but at the final you need to what uh, to be a, a good uh, technique and uh, ability uh, control the ball of course the vision is important because uh, you know the table is very very small are there, so. are there comparisons you can make between the two sports? I mean, <laughs> essentially... Uh, it's not really the same because, you know, when, when you're on the field, it's maybe more easier to find a partner because he can move, but the table, they cannot move. So, so that's why the precision and the vision, it, uh, it's very important, especially when you play like this, 1v1. World Cup winner Robert Perez joining us in the commentary box, giving us his analysis and expertise uh, on uh, Czech ball. It is, of course, the singles final to bring you full coverage of in the next few moments. The warm-ups are done. The crowd are ready. We are ready here in the commentary box as uh, we get ready then for this final. Sechi from Romania taking on Shipos from Hungary. And it is Sechi from Romania getting things off uh, to a good start from his point of view, winning the first two points. And you see already a big difference between the singles and the doubles, yes. don't you? Because it's a very fast pace to the singles matches. Rallies perhaps not lasting quite as long. So, yeah. So, I think so that's why it's a little bit uh, different when you play alone and uh, if you play with a partner. Because uh, you need to do the pass only for yourself. So, you need to, uh, to do good, the good control, to do the good, good control, good move. And if you, it's possible to, to smash it with the... With the feet or with the with the but so that's so that's why take ball it's very very good for for the technique. The woman, the woman, is uh, start good. Yeah, start good. Who is uh, who would you say is the favourite for this uh, gold medal match? Who do you think is more likely to win out of these two athletes in your experience? Is it going to be close? Um, yeah, I think yeah, it will be close. Uh, but you know, when you when you want uh, a game or a title, of course, uh, uh, technique is important. But sometimes you need to uh, uh, to uh, to look for yeah for everything. So, yeah, that, I think he just crossed the, uh, the line there between the uh, nets uh, yeah. and the yeah, other side of the uh, table. So, Romania, Sechi, off to a yeah. very good start. Yeah, very good start, yeah, for one. Maybe he's more, yeah, concentrated. What I, what I love the beginning, yeah. What I love about tech ball, Robert, is it's a combination of many different skills. And I guess you can see a few different sports uh, involved in this uh, match, can't you? Volleyball, tennis, table tennis, yeah. football, just to name a few. It, it includes attributes of many different sports. Yes, of course, yeah, I'm agree with you. But, you know, um, tech ball is very uh, specific. It's not, it's not like your skills, like for the, you know, uh, um, are you call it, the um, they do the freestylers, so yeah, yeah. You know, because the freestylers is, is, is totally different. Of course, they need to have good technique, um, a good ability. But if you want to uh, to be a good uh, on the take ball, you need to, to control the ball. It's very important. You know, the control after you need to put on the good uh, on the good way the, the ball for your chest or for your uh, for your head. But um, so that's why it's, uh, it's the same because we talk about football. 
But uh, at the end, uh, um, it's not really for me. It's not really the same. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same technique. <laughs> it's it's so different from football, isn't it? I mean, yes, yeah. The complexity of both sports. They just uh, but there are attributes, of course. And you yourself are, uh, you know, we're an ex-professional footballer. Yeah. And I'm sure there are techniques you can use uh, that will help you because you're going to be playing. Not, yeah, but not all the skills. So if you, yeah. you if you compare, you know, footballers and uh, and the freestyle. Yeah. Uh, uh, because you don't, on, you know, on the field you don't have the time to some skills. Or uh, maybe like uh, I don't know, like Ronaldinho or, or Ronaldo. But you know, now it's very difficult because the, the impact of the the opponent is uh, is very is very quickly on you. So that's why the most important when you play football, I say always, for example, on my son, is the control, pass and move. Of course, sometimes you can. Yeah, you, you can try to some skills, but now the football modern is more is more more fast. So control, pass, and move. This is my three. Um, how you call it? Three tips for tips. success. Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're getting everything we can out of uh, Robert Perez whilst we have him here in the commentary box, giving us all kinds of tips. The score seven four. Sechi setting the early pace uh, in this. Uh, Tech Ball World Cup final. It is, of course, the singles final. We'll have the uh, doubles final to bring you a little bit later. And we'll have an All Stars match. You're going to be taking to the uh, <laughs> to the table yourself to play. Uh, yes, after the after the uh, the final, the double. Uh, so we will uh, we'll play with um, Simao, um, William Galas, and uh, Sean Garnier. He's a very good uh, freestyler. Free free yeah. He's, yeah. uh, he's a world champion. He's French. That is very good. <laughs> and who, who, are you, who are you playing with? Do you know who your partner's uh, going to be? I don't know. I don't know uh, yet. Uh, maybe with uh, with William because uh, we are French uh, together. So maybe he's a French against international, uh, international oh, I see, team. I see what you're doing here. You yeah. know William Gallas. He's a former teammate of yours as well at Arsenal, isn't he? <laughs> exactly. So you're uh, you're plotting. Your, you, you can you can you know you can retire from football, but that yeah. competitiveness never goes, does no, it? Never goes. No, exactly. So you used to play for Arsenal. Yeah. Me too, so um, yeah, maybe we'll play to, uh, together. But you know, the unbeatables, I believe, as well, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe yeah. you're going to get beaten today. Who knows? <laughs> Everything is possible, <laughs> e e even for the player like uh, Galas or me. So you know, so that's why for football, tennis, or uh, take ball, you need to be concentrated, focused, always. This is uh, very, very important. Yes. Now this is the thing about uh, commentating with uh, Robert Perez. Uh, he is being asked questions in the crowd. Uh, people asking for uh, signatures and um, photographs. Uh, we'll get him back, I'm sure, in a moment. Still, let's uh, turn our attention, of course, back to this uh, men's individual. Uh, sorry, this uh, individual final between uh, our two uh, male athletes men and women of course from uh, a variety of age ranges taking part in tech ball and at the moment uh, Hungary are trying to work their way back into this uh, Shiposh just uh, unable to uh, connect with the table there and the score 10 points to 6 change of service Romania to serve First service. Excellent smasher uh, out wide that there. Illegal attack. Point to Romania. This is a good rally, but uh, the point going the way of Romania. And uh, closing in that gap. 10 points uh, to First 7, service. the score. And uh, the second serve coming in. Point to Romania. Maybe on the left hand side of your screen, Romania on the right hand side. The uh, first ever Tech Ball World Cup was, of course, held in Hungary. Out. Second service. In comes the second serve. 11 7, the score. And uh, Shiposh 
with the uh, smash out wide. Good atmosphere in here, Robert, isn't it? Nice atmosphere building. Yeah, it's very good atmosphere. But you know, it's a, it's a small, so for the players, you know, when you feel like this, atmosphere is, a, is intense. Good. Before we yeah, intense, yeah. Intense. yeah. So for the player is the best when when they can see the ground is uh, not full but almost. So so that's why yeah the atmosphere is very good. So 11-8 the score in this first uh, final that we're bringing you coverage of here at the uh, Tech Ball World Cup. Oh, and that's a huge yeah. smash! Excellent stuff out there from uh, Shibosh. Shibosh. Very good finish. Woo. Strong smash. <laughs> I think this is uh, the most difficult on tech ball. Smash like this because you know look the table is not so. It's a so mixture big. of power and accuracy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And the way the table is shaped as well, the ball can ricochet off of there. All yeah. kinds of angles and so so that's why you need a good uh, you need a good vision. <laughs> <laughs> Level 9 the score. Sechi with a uh, slight advantage, two points at the moment. Chipos serving for Hungary. Sechi with the uh, short shot there. Well done. It's called a harvester when you yeah. drop the ball like that, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Yeah. So, uh, you, so that's why you need to do the good ability for, yeah. for to, uh, to make this. Uh, Shiposh uh, gave it everything though to try and get there to retrieve the yeah. ball, but uh, yeah, but it was a, a good point. Oh, and you can hear the crowd are really Kevin? starting to get excited. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Romania have. Uh, oh, yeah, that must have been nice, huh? Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, a double fault uh, going the way there of Hungary, a second double fault of the match. Ooh. Oh, well done. <laughs> and uh, Shivos giving himself uh, quite a lot to do there. So joined in the commentary box live by Robert Perez for this uh, final. The crowd World Cup Tech Ball. loving it. The uh, World Cup Tech Ball, <laughs> the second Tech Ball World Cup. A pleasure yes. to have you in the commentary box. Welcome in France. Oh, well done. Lovely shot. Lovely shot. Fourteen ten. The good score. Job. Shiposh. Oh, just out wide. Go for the smash. It was uh, long, and that's a difficult shot to pull off. Yeah, because the serve was very good from uh, Chetsi. Oh, Setchi. Yeah. Setchi. Setchi. Sorry for the pronunciation. <laughs> 15-10 the score, Sechi five points to the good, a second serve will be required though as the first one is slightly long, there is the uh, serve and you can see the crowd really getting behind these players, again out wide, fantastic stuff, I think that was good, it's good, I think yeah. so, yeah, that was one of the shots of the day if it's been given by the referee, uh, no, I think it was, I think it was actually, it was an edge ball, edge ball, edge yeah. ball. Yeah. Oh, he's very athletic, isn't he, Shiposh? First service. Oh, goodness me. 16-10, the score. Sechi on the way at the moment. He has been... Uh, a few points to the good since the start of this match and is now 17-10, just three points away from this first set. 
Shipos lifting the ball up high, headering it safe to the middle of the table. And there is the attack. Oh, oh that's great stuff that there by uh, Sechi. The smash out wide, that was uh, pretty much impossible to get back. Yeah. But he do always the same, but always he, <laughs> he scored. <laughs> I think he works this every day. Eighteen ten. In oh. comes the service. Uh, double fault, and that sets up the first set point of this uh, individual final. The third double fault that there from Shipoff. Sechi well potentially with the smash. It's a side ball. It won't count. One set point saved. Yeah, one point saved. Yeah. And it was indeed under the line of the net as well. So, uh, one set point saved there by uh, Shippos. Second serve to come in. And just see how far back that serve comes from. Yeah. There's the set. And there's the smash. Kept alive. This is going to be difficult to recover the ball from this position. And that indeed is the first set going away then of Sechi from Romania. 20 points to 11. And it is now time to say goodbye to uh, Robert Perez in the commentary box. Thank, Thank you for you joining us, much. Robert. We we'll look forward to seeing you in the uh, All-Stars match. Thank you. Enjoy. say goodbye to uh, Robert Perez, a World Cup winner and a Premier League winner with Arsenal Football Club as well. We will look forward to seeing him in the All-Stars match. This then the statistics from that first set. And uh, you can see again, first serves proving crucial. Sechi from Romania with 80% of uh, first serve points won, 63% of his first serves going in. And that uh, ultimately is the stat that uh, sticks out the most. And uh, it is time then to uh, welcome back into the commentary box uh, our expert resident commentator, a tech ball player himself, uh, Barna uh, Kovechvi. Welcome back. Welcome, again. welcome everyone again. Big shoes to fill. This time it's a World Cup winner. I always uh, change someone uh, very uh, well known in football. I always change legends, but this time it's just a tech ball player. He says just a tech ball player. Very modest as well as a good commentator and a talented tech ball player. We look forward to hearing your thoughts. So, uh, well, Sechi from Romania was uh, superb, wasn't he, uh, in that first set? Yeah, he played superb. Um, he he's an all-round player. He he he, he knows everything about tag ball, and uh, it seems that uh, uh, Arpad uh, can't find uh, a way to to beat him so far. One point uh, all in the uh, opening stages then of this second set. If this uh, does go the way of Romania, of uh, Sechi, then that will be that, I'm afraid. If uh, Shibos manages to win the second set, then it will go to a deciding set. Best of three sets in these finals. The qualifying matches are best of uh, one set. Service. 
was an edge ball, so Shipos has one more chance to make a right serve. Point to Hungary. Change of service. Romania to serve. First service. So to all the score then in uh, this second set, a little bit closer at the start of this set than it was at the uh, start of the first set, and that's just long there by uh, Sedgi. And that means uh, Shiposh is now ahead in a set for the first time. Out. Point to Romania. First service. So three points all. It's a beautiful smash up from Shiposh. It all depends on the on the second touch from him. If if the second touch is good, then he can finish the point with a good smash. He needs to work on his first serve as well because his first serve was a little bit out in that uh, first set. And if uh, Sechi gets his first serve in, he usually wins the point. And again, Shiposh is just a little bit of bother here, does well to get the ball back on the table. And uh, just clipping the end of the table, that will go the way though of uh, Sechi. That was an edge ball as we can see it from the slow motion. Is it? Very close, wasn't it? Very close indeed. So an edge ball means the uh, point is replayed. There is the first serve from Sechi. Shiposh out wide. Point Making contact with the net. The ball goes up high in the air into the crowd. I'm sure enjoyed their uh, moment with the ball. And uh, the scores are level at four points all. Yeah, Shiposh still uh, needs to work on his uh, second touch because uh, um, he is very uh, far away from the net. It is it is very hard to, to smash the floor, uh, to smash the ball from there. Edge ball. Second serve. So second serve to come in now from Shiposh. Sechi out wide, headed it down, and uh, Shiposh now five points to four. Yeah, maybe he was a bit nervous in the first set, first service. but he's back on track now. Yeah, he seems to have found his rhythm, doesn't he? Shiposh with uh, four winners to uh, Sechi's two. Second serve. Second serve for Shiposh. And there's the smash. Shiposh gets a toe to it to the fence. 6 5. Now the score the way of the Romanian. Six all the score. Change of service, Romania to serve. So now we're going to see Sechi with First four serves. Serve. And this is where Sechi does what Sechi does best. The serve is being crucial. Up in the air and high goes the serve. Shiposh giving himself work to do. Wow, fantastic angle to try and get that back. There goes Sechi with the short shot. Smash there from Shiposh. Not a lot Sechi can do from that. And that was a beautiful smash because it was with his weaker foot. Really, really impressive defensive play there from the uh, Hungarian. Service. Edge 
Kumbo. First service. Actually, Shipos has more chances to win the points than uh, Sechi serves because from that he can smash the ball. And now he could do that, but. Edge ball. Sechi found it better to let the ball bounce on the ground. This was First an edge ball. Service. Out. Point to Romania. He's really far away from the from the halfway line. First this is really service. hard to smash the ball from there. Now it's better. Point. But now Romania. he only found the net. I noticed a, uh, a bit of a um, pattern to the way that uh, Shipos plays in that he likes to take the ball out wide and go for the smash, doesn't he? But he, in doing so, leaves himself with some very tight angles. When he pulls it off, it's fantastic, but it's, it, it kind of puts himself under a little bit of pressure, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, he should be much closer to the net, like uh, Sechi did it now, although it was an illegal attack because he, he went uh, to the other side, but um, Sipo should also try to get more closer to the net. Oh, yeah, attempted harvester there from uh, Sechi. 9 all, close stuff in the second set. Both players will be feeling the pressure, I'm sure. Lots of prize money up for grabs for the winner. Lots of prize money, lots of pressure on the players. But they are professionals, so... What we decide in the end is uh, who's the better tag ball player. So uh, we have lots of uh, exciting uh, tech ball matches still to bring you after this uh, individual finals match. Again, you see uh, Shiposh heading out wide and uh, not working out for him. 11-10 as the score. But yeah, we've got an all-star match to bring you with the likes of uh, Galas and uh, Perez after this match. Then we then have the... Uh, Grand final of the doubles, and there you can see an example of it working for Shiposh. That was beautiful. That's what I was talking about. The, if the second touch is good, then he can smash the ball. And there is the smash, and it's just uh, gone long. It does seem to cost him more points than it gains him. I think, is that a fair thing to say? Yeah, it's a fair thing to say now. But. Uh, in the Hungarian qualification, uh, for example, he he always smashed it, and and it was always good. Change of service. Well, it's got him. Uh, this serve. technique has got him to a final. So uh, I think we First take nothing service. away uh, from Sechi, who is playing a very intelligent game here, getting his serving right and uh, scoring points when they come. And that is a huge smash from Shiposh. A bit of work to do here for Sechi, unable to uh, recover the situation. That's uh, fantastic stuff from Shiposh, bringing it back to 13-12. I really love the playing style of Shiposh, but this is a very risky uh, playing style. Puts himself under pressure, doesn't he? Yeah, he's uh, under a lot of pressure. And we're seeing the same technique there from uh, Sechi. Shiposh now with a bit of defence, chests the ball back into the middle of the table. And the header, the harvester shot there from Sechi. 
ball back into play by Shippos. Wonderful rally this. Will we see the smash? The Harvester is there. There is the double bounce. And a, uh, applause from his opponents. Shippos uh, applauding that to excellent Harvester. Harvester is, of course, uh, the term of tech ball for drop shots or when the ball is shortened. That was beautiful from uh, Sechi, and um, this could be the decisive uh, factor in this game, um, that uh, Sechi knows better the uh, soft touches. Well, we uh, see a double fault at a very important uh, moment of this uh, second set. Now it's a uh, three-point uh, advantage to um, Sechi. This is now three consecutive faults, has to compose himself here. It does uh, Shiposh, manages to get that second serve in. There's the uh, Harvester again. That looked like it might have taken a double touch, but I think it was just recovered. Here's the smash. Oh, it's just gone wide. And that was a side ball rather than an edge ball, which means the point goes away of Shiposh. Change of service, remaining to serve. First service. Ah, oh, look at that. Fantastic defence there from Sechi. Again, the Harvester comes in. Shippos will probably bring us out one from Smash. No, he doesn't. He decides to go for the uh, safety approach. Here comes the Smash there from Sechi. That is absolutely superb. The Romanian moves into a three-point advantage. Or was that an edge ball? No, that, that was good, I think. No, no, it was an edge ball, I think. The referee said that it was an edge ball, and, and he was right. Like, yeah, in the, the replay, you can see, yeah. Sechi's going to argue his case. He didn't feel uh, justice was served. Oh, good bit of sportsmanship that from Shiposh. I'm not quite sure what the outcome of that was. I think he said that he touched the table, but we can we will see it from the slow motion. First service. Maybe it happened before. Well, the point goes away of uh, Sechi. 16-13 the score, and uh, Shiposh again making contact with the net, and uh, Sechi has moved into a 17-13 lead on his way potentially to a goal, a World Cup gold. He is playing very confident during the uh, very calm and collective, isn't it? Very calm during the whole game, and Shiposh uh, can find his his real game. He can play much better than this, but that is really for. <laughs> That is, what, that is what he is capable of. And there is n probably no, n no one in the world that is going to get that back. That was absolutely unstoppable. Here you can see getting his foot up high. There goes the smash out wide. Fist clenched. Maybe Three it's not too late, late yet. Yeah. Sorry, maybe it's not too late, no. Edge ball. And uh, there's First the edge ball. Service. There's a Harvester, it's defended well there by Sechi, this is a good rally. There's a Harvester again, Sechi defends, where's the smash? Oh, that is one of the rallies of the tournament so far. Some good defensive play by Sechi, setting himself out wide, there comes the smash. Goodness that was beautiful me. from Shiposh, but the header was, was, uh, was very poor. As you can see, it bounced on the uh, medium of the table. So she push, uh, or said she had an easy task. Timeout called then from Shiposh. Four points the difference. Sechi potentially just two points away from victory. And uh, Sechi is in a good position now because uh, Shiposh is going to be served. And if he can't smash on, the, on his first serve, then uh, Sechi can easily return the serve, I think. Excellent slow-mo replay that there then of uh, Shiposh from Hungary. Really capturing the essence of his game in a nutshell. Both players just taking a moment to speak to their coach and uh, just uh, 
Wondering what they can do at this point of the match. Shiposh knows he has to. That's <laughs> about as awkward as it gets, isn't it? Went for the high five. <laughs> Knew he'd missed it. Big smile on his face. No <laughs> high five this time. First service. So, Shiposh with work to do. Charles by four points. Sets you out wide. There's the smash defender by Shiposh, who is ready for it. He's going to have to head this one back into play. And just long. And this sets up the first World Cup gold medal match points first service to the way of Sechi of Romania Barna Sechi out wide it's defended well this by Shipos Shipos keeps it alive it was an illegal attack already from uh, Sechi he was over the line oh, oh, that was close wasn't it very close indeed very close it is really hard to um, to decide this correctly Shibosh with four edge ball match points to save the edge ball so we'll get another serve Barnasechi with match point pulls the ball out wide there's a harvester and that wins it that is gold for Barnasechi of Romania a big hug with his coach he has won the World Cup individual events. Arpad Shiposh from Hungary will take silver. A much closer second set. But in the end, a deserved winner. Barna Sechi of Romania is the winner of the individual second tech ball World Cup gold. Sechi definitely deserved this game. Uh, deserved the gold medal because he played very confident throughout the whole game. He was very calm. And Shiposh couldn't uh, play uh, the maximum he was capable of. This is then a replay of that match point. There comes the Harvester. An excellent shot that there to seal victory for Barna Sechi of Romania. And he is the champion of the individual event. And what a deserved winner he is. Great stuff that there from the Romanian. His coach missed the high five earlier, but he gets a big hug, which I'm sure is uh, going to be satisfactory. Pointing to uh, his chest. Sechi applauding this uh, packed arena here, making his way back down the tunnel. He is the World Cup winner. So here we're going to see some highlights. This uh, from the first set, I believe. And look at that harvest. So this was a fantastic rally. This was from the second set, wasn't it? Just see some excellent defence there from uh, Shiposh turning defence into attack out wide with the uh, smash and applauding his uh, opponents. He's a very fair player, Shiposh. He always uh, acknowledges if his opponent is better than him. And today, Sechi was clearly the better player. Yeah, he was. He was really was in his, found his rhythm early on, didn't he? That was the moment he knew he had won the World Cup here in Krems. The second Tech Ball World Cup. He doesn't give high fives. He just gives hugs, and only <laughs> and only if he's a world champion. A world champions. And here then are the statistics from that final. And you can see just how important that first serve was from Barna Sechi. 70% of his first serves in compared to 58 from uh, Shiposh. 76% of his first serve points won. No aces in that match.
So in a few moments time we are going to have our stars game. But firstly we are going to see some freestyling from Sean Garnier. On rappelle que c'est un garnier et français. Yeah! C'est un garnier. Famous freestyler, tech ball ambassador also. C'est un garnier donc freestyler de renom, champion du monde. Faites du bruit! Ambassadeur du tech ball également, n'est-ce pas, Bruno? Et oui, ambassadeur du tech ball, ancien joueur de, de foot hein, professionnel. Il est passé notamment par Auxerre, par, par Troyes. Et une blessure l'a renvoyé ensuite sur le freestyle. Bravo, je crois que tu as un petit challenge pour quelqu'un dans la salle. Ok Reims, est-ce que ça va Alors écoutez, s'il vous plaît, voilà, c'est un garnier. Est-ce que ça va Reims De ce côté-là, est-ce que ça va Ici, je vous entends pas, ça va ou quoi Là-bas, ça va ou quoi Ok, j'ai un challenge pour vous comme d'habitude. Qui est-ce qui veut me challenger en petit pont Qui veut me challenger Qui, 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 qui Qui, qui Toi, non, non Où ça, où ça Oh, toi, t'as l'air pas mal, vas-y, viens. Toi, toi, en rouge, là, ouais, ouais. Oui, toi, là. Viens, viens, viens. Ok, on a Challenger. Je crois que c'est un local, en fait. Je crois que c'est un mec d'ici. On va lui dire de se dépêcher. On fait du bruit pour, pour lui, Rhin, s'il vous plaît. On fait du bruit. Aïe, aïe, aïe. On a un bon Challenger, attention. Le public se rapproche. Quel est ton prénom ah Ton prénom Farid, du bruit pour Farid Farid, t'as une minute, le premier qui met un petit pont, il a gagné Alors là, pour euh, accompagner donc, cette démonstration, donc il a invité, vous le voyez, un joueur français à essayer de lui prendre le ballon. Allez, allez, Farid. C'est pas évident, hein, champion du monde. Tu m'étonnes. On peut le dire, il n'y a pas de trucage. Hein. Il n'y a pas de trucage. Le voilà, le petit pont. Élevé. Bravo, bravo. Allez, Merci, pro... Farid. Bravo, Céane. Merci, Farid, en tout cas, d'avoir relevé le challenge. Céane Garnier, fait du bruit. Yeah. Céane, tu vas rester avec nous. Céane Garnier. And now, guys, we're going to call some other Tech Ball ambassadors. He's a former international Portuguese player. Please make some noise for Simão Sabrosa. 85 sélections avec le Portugal. Il a évolué au Benfica, Lisbonne, au FC Barcelone, à l'Atlético de Madrid. Accueillons Simão Sabrosa. Il a joué au FC Barcelone à l'Atletico de Madrid. Well, what a treat uh, for everybody watching at home. Excellent display Et that there from uh, Sion Garnier. And, uh, he will be teaming up with uh, Ismael Sabrosa. And uh, no surprise that uh, William Gallas and uh, Robert Perez uh, are opting to team together. Here comes then. Uh, William Dallas onto the arena for this All-Stars match. William Dallas, a World Cup finalist uh, with France in 2006. Also a uh, Premier League champion. William Dallas with a glistering career. Now a uh, 
big supporter of uh, Fit Tech, an ambassador of the sports. And they may be uh, retired professional footballers, but make no doubt about it, they're going to be very, very keen indeed to win this match. Indeed, little introduction does Robert Pires, a World Cup winner for France in 1998, their first ever World Cup. Making his way out onto the arena. I make a mistake, it is actually uh, Paris and uh, Ghania, I think, who are going to be teaming up. Alors, les joueurs vont se mettre en place, nos All-Star, et on va indiquer que c'est une rencontre qui va s'effectuer en 10 points, Sandy. 10 points, et on rappelle qu'il faut, je pense. So, Ghania keen to uh, get things underway. In this uh, All Stars match, I'm really curious how Garni is going to play tag ball because he's an excellent freestyler, but this is a different. Game. Absolutely. You want to receive first and both best time. You receive first. You receive first. Okay. You want to start first? Okay. Okay, go to the other side. Two stars? Okay. I have no one. And of course, we can expect some legendary uh, uh, game from these uh, magical ex football players. Yeah, this is an absolute treat for the fans here and for everybody watching uh, at home, wherever in the world you are. Tuning in to the second Tech Ball World Cup. This is our third match of the day, our penultimate match. This is. The All-Stars match between uh, uh, Sabrosa and Gallas taking on uh, Pires and Garnia. Sabrosa with the uh, first serve out wide there by Pires. And now you can see Garnia looking very confident. There's a header from Gallas. This is a good rally to start things off with. The header there by Pires. The referee thought about calling it, but he didn't. That's gone wide there from Gallas. And the first point going the way then of the team Simon of uh, Pires and service. Garnia. I've never seen anyone wearing a baseball cap Second during service. Service. <laughs> you got to look cool no matter what you're doing. Oh, well, it's uh, Sabrosa's attempt to uh, get it back to his partner. Uh, That's 2-0, the uh, score. Is that? Perez and wait, wait, uh, Garnier. Wait, wait. Garnier is a pretty handy player, serve. I think, isn't he? Garnier with the serve. Yeah, he's very good. Result is 2-0. I see that he's wearing, wearing everything. Necklace, bracelet. Second everything. service. <laughs> None of this is going to help, is it? No, not really. Double fault. Only the double fault. Three stars. William Gallas, the uh, voice of calm on the uh, outside there. Just uh, telling Sabrosa to uh, get it down. There's uh, Perez with the header. Gallas with the uh, other side. Oh, there was contact with the table there, definitely wasn't there. And no pass either, so they're good players, aren't they? They are good players. Gamas with the uh, harvester. This is, of course, a drop shot. Two on the score. This is going to be a belter. Dallas with the serve, first service. Point to Grey Stars, service change. So, 3 2 the score in this uh, opening stages of this uh, All Stars game. Grey with the serve, first service. Pires out wide with the header. Gallas with the attempted harvester. We saw it work from earlier on. Pires for the serve. First service. One point. One serve. Ten points. 
So confirmation that this will just be the one set. So enjoy it whilst it lasts. And it is the first to ten. Gallas and Saprosa at the moment in charge. 5-3 they lead. There comes the uh, header from Garnia. Out wide there by Gallas. Sabrosa with the uh, harvested. Well kept alive there by Pires, but it does actually just go wide. And it is 6-3 now the score. Gallas and Sabrosa lead. Just four points away from victory in this All-Stars match. Yeah, four points away from victory. This is a bit of a safety game so far from all players. I'm waiting for the bicycle kicks from uh, Garnier. They look like they're enjoying themselves, don't they? They really do. Oh, goodness me. That's what I was also waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> is that legal? <laughs> no, actually not, because the player has to uh, toss the ball uh, from, his, uh, hand, from his hands when he's serving. But this is beautiful. That looked like a double fault to me, and I think the referee agrees. 7-4 the score. Gallas and Sabrosa just three points away from victory in this All-Stars match. There is the uh, header out wide by Sabrosa. Play back in by Perez, the referee's seen something and it's 7-5 the score Perez and Garnier working their way back into things it will be Gallas to serve next that was an illegal attack it, this is very hard to uh, keep all the rules from uh, football players for the, for the first time or for the second time they have to memorize a lot of rules and that's long there from Garnier and that means that Gallas and Sabrosa are just two points away from victory in this All-Stars Tech Ball World Cup match Perez plays it towards Gallas but that was a double touch on the head from Gallas and it is 8-6 I can tell you, the crowd are absolutely loving this. Point to Ori Stars. 8-7, now the score, and... Uh, <laughs> so, Bruce, <laughs> just uh, first showing us why he was such a good footballer with that uh, cross-field pass. Oh, Perez with a cheeky little header out wide there. Gallas has work to do, and that, I believe, levels the scores at 8-all. It is first to 10, they have to win by two clear points, 8-all the score. Gallas wants to see the video review. That's what he's showing to us. So nine points to eight. Gallas and Sabrosa with the first match point. Simon Sarroda with the serve. First service. Here comes the serve from Sabrosa. Pira sets it out wide for Garnier, who hits it long. Edgeball. And that Edgeball. means that it is. No, that was an edge ball. Gallas Simon wanted Sarroda it to be long, but that was an edge ball. Second service. <laughs> 9-8 the score, we're still at match point. Garnier out wide to Perez. Perez to Garnier, who hits it out wide then to Gallas. To Brosa long, match point saved. 9 all the score. Match point to Garnier and Pires. Well, they saved a match point of their own. They now Second have service. a match point themselves. 10 to 9. Pires and Garnier lead. Oh, very cheeky. Oh, has that gone the way? No, that is 10 all, I believe. Well, uh, some conversations going on here. I don't think... So Rosa was over the line, I think. Or maybe he touched the table, but the referee clearly saw some uh, hold. Now he's explaining that to Sabrosa. It's all fun and games until the match is decided. 
but it goes the way of Pires and Garnier in the end. They saved a match point and then they took their own. You can take the professional footballer off the football field, but you will never take that competitive edge away from them. You can see just how much that meant. The crowd here absolutely loving it, really enjoying themselves. Gallas applauding this uh, packed out arena. But it is Pierre and Garnier who are victorious in the All-Stars match. Wonderful comeback from them. Garnier playing in uh, his cap, which uh, you pointed out earlier. It's brave, isn't it? But they still managed to win. To the crowd is gearing up the uh, noise that little bit more here Quelques minutes, vous restez avec nous. Place au show. À tout de suite. you've all been waiting for the doubles final so it all comes down to this the second tech ball world cup doubles final hungry taking on montenegro 
And, uh, this is, of course, the road to the finals. You can see uh, Hungary knocking out Brazil in the semi-finals. Montenegro knocking out uh, Romania. And it is, of course, the team of Montenegro making their way out first. Bogdan. This is the Hungarian team, I'm sure. Apologies for that. It is the uh, Hungarian team making it out first, uh, Chaba Banyak and uh, Adam Blasovic making their way out uh, onto the arena. They did not even lose a set during the whole tournament. So they are clearly the favourites of the final, although Montenegro played really good in the semi-finals and beat the more uh, favourite uh, Romania. Romania, of course, taking the bronze in our first match coverage of the day. As uh, on comes the team then of Montenegro, Bogdan uh, Marjevic and uh, Nikola Mitro. This is, of course, the gold match for the doubles here at the uh, second Tech Ball World Cup in Krems, France. Bona Kovacvi a player himself joining me in the commentary box we're going to have some out Sabrosa for the second set referees Martin Gorman from the Ice Kingdom players please gather around no players please so the players just uh, making their way out onto the uh, Arena then for this uh, the point off. Tails or heads? Devils final. A point head. off to decide. Montagro to start. Which, which side team will like start to serving? Montagro will be on this Looks side. Looks like it uh, might be Montenegro that won the toss. Who will receive first? You will receive. Okay, who will serve first? You will serve. I'm okay. sure this is going to be the most okay, spectacular, spectacular game we are going to experience tonight. In my opinion, this is going to be the closest match. Well, it all comes down to this. We have had two days of tech ball action qualifiers, followed by the round of 16 quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. This, though, is the final to decide who will be the world champion. The second tech ball World Cup. And we can talk a little bit about who beats who on the route to the final. Hungary beating uh, Brazil, Italy in the uh, quarterfinals and the semi-finals. This Montenegro beating Romania in the semi-finals and uh, France in the quarterfinals. This uh, is of course our last match that we bring you coverage of. Nicola Mitro, 24 years of age. Following up, of course, with uh, Bogdan Marajevic of Montenegro. The crowd are ready. Hopefully, everybody watching at home is ready as we prepare ourselves for the men, uh, all men. 
doubles final. We are going to experience two very different playing styles from the two teams. Uh, Banik from Hungary will smash the ball all the time, while Blažović is an all-round player, he can do everything Montenegro with the ball, and Montenegro is going to the play service. the ball with, the, with their heads all the time. Out! Second service! And attacking from the uh, left-hand side is Montenegro. Edge ball! First service! Out! Second service! Very tight affair this, the opening stage of this final. There is the smash. Oh, it's wide there. Point from Hungary. Chaba Banyek of Hungary. First service. Out. Second service. Out. Double falls. Point to Hungary. First service. So Hungary starting uh, the stronger of the two Out. teams. Second service. Hungary in the all red kit with a green rings around the base of their shirts. In the white, it is Montenegro. And uh, just Point unable to get one alive out wide. And Hungary, who haven't dropped a set so far throughout this tournament, are oh, three out. points to the good. Second service. Banyak with the smash, moving Hungary, moving to a 4-0 head start, this is one-way stuff. Yeah, this is very beautiful from Banyak, he can't make any errors from Hungary this massive. Serve. First service. Out. Second service. Edge ball. And that's a double fault. That uh, was an edge ball. That was an edge ball, right. Second service. So it's the second serve. Two edge balls so far from Hungary. And there is the uh, harvester Montenegro. from uh, Montenegro. And that is their first point of the match. First service. Point to Hungary. First service. Five on the score in this doubles final. There's a harvester. It's dealt with well though by Hungary, and there is a harvester in return, and it clips uh, the net on the way past. It only bounced twice Try, after twice. the net. Twice and down. Point Maro, to Hungary. Maroyev is showing the free sign, but three it times. was only two. Okay, thank you. Three it times. It was the only two bounces. We. Uh, have the advantage of seeing a replay. First service. Which means the, it counts as a The assistant referee said uh, to the main referee that it was it once three times after the net, so they're repeating the point now. That's uh, the way the rule works. If it bounces three times, excellent point smash uh, from the head there from Montenegro. And uh, they reduce the score to 5 2. Well, this uh, is just service. what Montenegro needed. It's now 5 2 rather than what it should have been 6 1. Wow, excellent uh, athleticism there. And Vanya with the smash Montenegro home, the meaning Hungary have moved into a 6-2 advantage. First service. Doesn't quite work out for him very long time, does it? Uh, Blazovic just unable to get his leg high enough First over the service. ball. Wow. Ball back into play. 
Good stuff out by Montenegro. Defending really well. He's going to have to get a ball back into the centre of the table. Just quite going to stop by enough. And Hungary move into a 7-3 lead. Hungary, of course, the host of the first Tech Ball World Cup. First service. Point and, to Montenegro. Uh, Gazovic, uh, just uh, unable to get the contact he would have wanted. 7-4 the score. Oh, great stuff. That's it. It's really proving to be the difference between the two teams at the moment with some excellent play outside. There's the smash. Not much that uh, Montenegro can do from that angle. With the power on that shot. Oh, good defensing. Defensive play there by uh, Lazovic. But Montenegro bringing the scores back to within three. First service. Still in this first set. Best of three here in this uh, Out. doubles service. Gold, me gold medal match. Oh, excellent defence, but uh, not able to direct the ball back to towards the table. This is incredible how much power he First can make service. from his header. Out. Second service. Out. Bubble assault. Point to Montenegro. First service. Change of service, Montenegro to serve. Very good headers from Montenegro. First service. Out. Second service. So, eight all the score in this opening set. Very little in it. We thought it was going to be tight, and uh, that has proven to be the case. Montenegro is living behind in the opening stages, but working their way back into it. They were 5 1 down, they're now 9 8 down. Wonderful drop shot from Brandon. First service. Out. Second service. And you can uh, Blazovic keeping concentration, the scores were First level, service. but uh, putting themselves back into a two point lead in this final. Placed well outside uh, there by Banyak. And look down there by Montenegro. First service. Oh, that's great stuff. Banyak with the. Uh, Acrobatics kept alive well though by Montenegro. Banyak out to uh, Blazovic who uh, brings the ball back into play but headed out wide there by Montenegro. Leveling the scores at 10 apiece. Very little in it. Change service, Hungary to serve. First service. Montenegro haven't actually uh, been ahead yet in this match. Hungary in control, although the score suggests otherwise. Banyak out wide once again for Hungary. Blazovic at the back of the uh, arena. And once again, Montenegro bring things level. Now they have a very good chance to take the lead because they are receiving. Point 
to Hungary. But that was a very good serve. First service. Edge ball. The Hungarian First players service. were already celebrating, but that was an edge ball. Still they lead by a point. Three edge balls the way of Hungary. That is excellent. Edge ball. Six there out wide by uh, Blazovic. Edge ball. Edge ball again. Another edge ball. First service. Out. Second service. Blazovic serving Banyak on the outside. In comes a serve then from Blazovic. Montenegro defend. Banyak keeping the ball alive. Out. And there is the uh, header by Blazovic still is long. And once Change again, service. Montenegro Montenegro pole Montenegro level. 12 points all the score in this Temple World Cup doubles final. Very little in it at the moment. A huge foot up high there. Blazovic putting Hungary ahead once again. Montenegro still haven't been ahead at all during this set. It just seems to be whenever they get level. Hungary come back with something a little bit extra. You only have to take the lead in the end. Well, and that's just uh, long there from, uh, I think that was uh, Banyik. That was Blazovic at the uh, net. First service. Oh, well, and that's uh, once again Out. wide. And Point this is the first time Montenegro had led. 14 13 they lead. The question is, can they hold service. on to it? Well, they're in unfamiliar territory at the moment, aren't they? Blazovic with a huge smudge out wide. No one's getting near that. Levels the score of 14 all. Very good smash. Change of service. Hungry Very well serve. positioned. First service. 14 all the score. We thought it was going to be tight. That has been the case. Montenegro on the attach. Hit the net and three bounces. Replay rally. The referee uh, is making the right decision First because service. it touched the net and then bounced three times on the table. So they are going to repeat the rally. Oh, that's superb athleticism there from uh, Blazovic to keep the point going. Here is Blazovic again, Out. just uh, chesting the ball into the net. Montenegro with the advantage of 15 14 now they lead. That's very unlucky. Banyak playing it out wide. Brazovic has to header to keep the ball alive. Montenegro now look to counter. Banyak is dropping the ball to the middle of the table. There comes the header from Montenegro. Header back into play once again by Blazovic at the back of the court. That will edge be an edge ball. And the point will be replayed. First service. Fault. Second service. Well, we have our next uh, star guest into the commentary box as once again we say goodbye to uh, Barna. Kovacvi, we will speak to him no doubt a little bit later, but it is time now for uh, our next star guest to make his way into the commentary booth. We will allow him to uh, settle himself in, and uh, he's fresh from having played.
The score's locked at 15 all. Welcome to the commentary box, uh, Samal Sabrosa. You've uh, just played in the All-Stars match. I'm assuming you uh, had a moment to shower and get yourself ready for the next part of this uh, fantastic occasion you're a part of. But welcome to the commentary box. It's a pleasure to commentate Boy, alongside you. Thank you, thank you. It's my pleasure too. You join us at a very tense moment in this uh, opening set. The score, 16-15 to uh, Hungary. It's uh, very, very tight indeed, isn't it? Yeah, it's normal because it's final, you know. So it's the two best teams. So let's be what what can happen. Out wide there by uh, Banyak. Brazovic plays it back in. There came the harvester. Very good ball. So you've uh, just been playing yourself. What's the atmosphere like down there on the court? It's different, you know, when, when you are in the, in the game. Uh, you are nervous in the first moment. Because that's why I understand the, the final. Well, Hungary moving into a uh, two-point lead, but a point coming back there from Montenegro. This has been as tight as we hoped it would be. Fantastic stuff. There comes the hit out wide there by Hungary. Banyak dictating play from the side. Play back in. Blazovic from the back. There was the harvester by Banyak. Dealt with well by Montenegro. Back up high. Banyak outside for Blazovic, who powers the ball home. And excellent stuff. Oh, fantastic defensive play that from Montenegro. Goodness me. Unbelievable. Right? Two saves to Montenegro and now win the points. 17 all. Well, it is, of course, first to 20. They have to win by two clear points. We're going to chat to you a bit more, Sir Samar Sambrosa, about your career in football as well as uh, finding out what it's like to play down there. But obviously you've joined us at a very exciting part of this set. 18-17 now the score. Hungary moving into a one-point advantage. First service. This is a tech ball at its absolute best at the moment. Blazovic from the back of the court for Hungary, getting a big foot out, somehow keeping that point alive. That looked like it could have been an edge ball, but uh, Banyak just about keeps things going. There goes Blazovic once again from the back of the court. Fantastic rally this. And it's long there from Montenegro, and that means that Hungary move into a set point. 19-17, they lead. After such a topsy-turvy first set, it all comes down to this, our first set points. Yeah, this is important point. Two points difference and now match point. So, first serve is long. Here comes a second serve. Can they save this first set point? Montenegro. Banyek on the side, Blazovic at the back. Banyek's going to have to do well to can recover this. Blazovic just can't quite get his leg high enough. One set point saved. Still though, set point the way of Hungary. And a bit of discussion between the referees. Was that an edge ball? I'm not sure what happened. Net point. Net point. Oh, goodness me. A little bit of luck going the way of Montenegro. Just clipping the top of the net. And that is two set points saved. 19 all the score. Goodness me. You have joined the commentary box at a tense moment. Yeah, it's a very tense moment. Out. Second service. Now it's just no technique, it's like mentality. Well, Hungary once again proving their composure. 2019, they take the first set. And just look how much that means to them. 
Blazovic and Banyik with uh, the composure when it counts 20 points 19 they win that uh, first set here's the statistics and you can see their serves not great Montenegro with 63% uh, of their first serves in 58% of those points won and only 29 points of their first serves won Hungary so that's uh, certainly an area they'll look to improve but look at that for a statistic no second serves won by Montenegro in that first set here then we can see the highlights What was it like uh, playing alongside William Gallas on the uh, Stars match then? Uh, Smile Sambrosa, was it good? Was it good fun? Yeah, it's good. Very easy, you know. It's different than the, like the final game. We play easy, try to do the best, but it's difficult, you know, when, when you play just for 10 points. You want more, you want to fight, you want to... <laughs> you, may no, you may no longer be a footballer, but that competitiveness, that want to win is still there, isn't it? Yeah, always, always. And what do you make of this uh, final so far? Very, very close in the uh, latter stages of uh, that opening set. It's very difficult to say who's going to win this. I think uh, Hungary. But it's difficult to say because it's, it's similar. You know? Looking at some of the statistics. Now Montenegro is one point. Yeah. Looking at some of the statistics from the first set. Montenegro didn't win a single point from their second serve. So that's probably an area they'll look to improve on, I think. Of course, this, this is important. When you lose the focus, maybe the team lose the focus and concentrate, uh, you lose the points. This is the problem when you play the game like that. First service. Somehow, Sabrosa, former player of Barcelona, a uh, tech ball ambassador. Out. And uh, enjoying yourself out here in the uh, World Cup final. Thank you. First Atmosphere service. here is absolutely deafening, isn't it? <laughs> so, second service. Hungary. Three points to the good in this second set. They started the uh, first set with. Uh, a pretty confident start, but then Montenegro made their way back into it. An early start is pretty crucial, I think, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. You're right. But now Hungary uh, is in three points difference, and now you need to be in control. You know, don't lose the ball. In that case, don't lose the points, and uh, waiting for Euro for the Montenegro Euro. Well, it's just uh, once again fantastic attacking play applauded by Montenegro. Banyak on the uh, outside and fires that home. Not a lot that uh, they could do from that. That's a really good attacking player. Great smash by the uh, Hungarians. Yeah, and Hungarians know the game, uh, practice every day, so it's different, you know. Maybe Montenegro do the same. And both, both countries play very well. Hungary taking the ascendancy in this second set. They lead by a set to nil. Montenegro looking to work their way back into it. Hungary with some clever play that clips the net and goes wide. And that is point Montenegro's Montenegro. first point of this second set. First service. Well, Montenegro need to probably go on a little bit of a run now don't they, to get some points. Second service. Yeah, need to, to win the points, you know, because now Hungary have more control and win this point. point to Hungary. Clever play that there by Hungary. Meaning they are now 5-1 uh, to the good and in control of this second set now. Yeah, Hungary now waiting for, uh, for the last points for Montenegro, you know. You don't have to do like uh, play like 0-0 uh, or 10-10 because now one point is very important. 5-1 the score, Hungary in control, like they were at this point in the first set, I remind you. And uh, Blasovic on the uh, outside of the court. First service. Just uh, making a mistake there. In comes the serve, a very strong serve indeed from Montenegro. Edge and that ball. was an edge ball, so the point will be repaid. First service. Oh my point goodness me. Hungry. That's a difficult technique to master, isn't it? Amazing, amazing. 
is like a goal. Yeah. I saw Shaking you uh, when you were playing. You were at the back of the court and uh, you played the ball across. So it was like a, a cross field pass, maybe a, a couple of memories from the football career. Yeah, Pires, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just absolutely showing just how much this means to him. This is tech ball at service. the absolute highest level. And Hungary, seven points to two. Is there any way back for Montenegro at this point? No, if the Hungary won this, this set, you have one more. So I think Montenegro fights to the end. First service. Seven points to three. Montenegro just ah. four points behind. Hungary Second on the left-hand side of your screen. Montenegro on the right. Banyik and uh, Blazovic taking on Marijevic and Mitro. That's wide. And you can see just how Good. much every point Point's means to Banyik. First service. Banyik now to serve. A five-point advantage. You can just feel that perhaps they are making their way towards the victory as things stand they are a set to the good and five points to the good Blazovic out on the wide at the moment play back to him and he drops the ball into the centre of the table and it is another point going the way of Hungary they lead now by six points just trying to get the crowd behind them as well. This is the second set, right? Yep. Ah, I think it's the first one because I come late to the final story. It's the second set. It's difficult now for, for Montenegro. Trailing by a set, trailing by six points. A lot will be going yeah, through. It's possible, that but it's difficult. Mentally, they have to try and lift themselves, don't they? They have to be calm. You've obviously been in losing positions over the course of your career. What do you have to do to get yourself back into, into matches? You need to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to trust your teammates of course, as well. And trust yourself. They've got to keep their heads, haven't they? They've got to keep their composure, their focus. Yeah, it's the most important. Focus, concentrate, and trust in your team, and your service. friends, and your partner. And communication is, of course, key in tech ball when you're playing in doubles, isn't it? Yeah, it's important, communication. Yeah, good ball. Well, Montenegro just uh, proving why they're still a threat in this doubles final. This is the last match. This is what it all comes down to. In comes the serve. Blazovic returns to Banyak. Just makes contact with the table before Banyak can get a return in. And uh, just four points of difference now. Montenegro may be putting together a little run here. They were six points behind. It's now just four points. Now it's four, yeah, yeah. You are right. This next point could be crucial. Second service. Have to put together a little run, Montenegro. They were behind six point, uh, five points to one in the first set, and they pulled it back, but just losing out at the end of that first set. Maybe finding a little bit of rhythm here, although that is a massive smash out wide there by Banyak. Goodness me, nothing anyone look, can do look, to the Look this move. Yeah. Point roll with the right master and unbelievable. And that's wide again there by Montenegro. 12-6. Hungary restoring that six-point lead. Now potentially just eight points away from victory. Yeah, and six points against Ufren, so... What's happened? Point, Montenegro. Well, the point goes away of Montenegro. Hungary look confused. Any ideas? Ooh. Well, you can see why Hungary are a little bit uh, disconcerted by that. Our referees do not have uh, 
the opportunity to look at replays like uh, we do here on television, but Hungary have to put it to the back of their minds now. Point, and uh, point it, it is things like that that can change the courses of matches, isn't it? 8 12 Jeez, now. Sorry. It could have been 13 6. Oh, it's four points. And I think the Hungary team is nervous. Well, you can see. Marozhevich and Mitro just starting to fight their way back into this. Four points in the last six. And that is long. And they're starting to work their way back into the second set. And Montenegro start to believe. Belief is part of the battle. Here comes the second serve. The longer they keep this run going, the more that they're going to believe. But there is the smash out wide by Hungary. And they are both teams celebrating. But it, I can confirm it has gone the way of Montenegro. And it's now just within two points. You talk about that belief. Montenegro are starting to believe, aren't they? Finally, Hungary get a point on the board. And you just feel every point that goes away of Hungary is a step closer to victory. One set to the good. Now 13-10. Point, Montenegro. Things have really closed up though, haven't they? Change Things are getting tense. Yeah, yeah intense. The same, I think the same quality, different points of technique, and look, hey. so now, touching so the, in the orange line. Samal Sambrosa joining us in the commentary box, the latest in a list of ex-footballer VIPs, who represented Portugal nationally, he played, of course, for Barcelona in La Liga, amongst some other high-profile teams. Well, it's good defence out by Montenegro. Played back in. Hungary now have to mount another attack. There's the harvester. Montenegro can attack themselves now. And in doing so, have brought the scores to 13 all. They looked down and out a few moments ago. The scores are now level. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah, because the Hungary lost concentration, you know? This is important. You never, ne if you never lose, you're more close to win. And there was that point a little earlier on that somehow unfortunately went the way of Montenegro. From Hungary's point of view, that will have disrupted their rhythm, won't it? And now they find themselves level on points. Things are tense. There's a harvester. Oh, just about kept alive. And I think, was that an edge ball? No, it does go the way of Hungary. And they retake the lead, 14-13. Because I think put the, uh, the hand in the table. On the table. Yeah, not allowed to make contact with the table. And it is now 14-13, very tense. Every point is crucial. Excellent header out wide, the smash header there by Montenegro. Leveling the scores once again, 14 all. This is the final we wanted. Are we going to see a deciding third set? This is the final, no? It's, uh, it's competitive. It's... Oh, and it's uh, unfortunate that for Montenegro. Banyak with a huge smash out wide, it was defended. Look at that. Once again, Banyak with the huge smash out wide. Blazovic sets up Banyak with the header. Defended by Montenegro. It's all hungry at the moment. Oh, an attempted harvest by Blazovic. Uh, sorry, by Banyak out wide. Is unsuccessful. We're back to 15 all for the second time in this match. It is 15 all towards the end of the set. Smile Sambrusa in the commentary box. No, 
of the play that there by Hungary. Bounce off the top of the net, but carries on playing. Vladovic at the uh, back of the court, and unable to get it back in. And Montenegro move into a 16-15 lead. And now the game changed. You can feel the momentum shifting, can't you? Goodness me, if Montenegro are to win this set, Hungary will be left to rue. 17-15, they now trail. Montenegro just three points away from levelling the match at one point or a one set all. Four. Second service. 17-15, hungry to serve. This is tense. Another point goes away of Montenegro and they are on track to taking the second set and levelling the score, meaning we'd have to go to a deciding set. Hungary seemed to be running away with it. They were a good seven points to the good. And that there means that Montenegro from nowhere have a set point. Hey, this this player won the last four points in the same position, you know, with head and the same move. It'll be interesting to see the statistics at the end of this set if Montenegro do go on and win. I'm not going to rule out anything at the moment. Oh, and there is a double false, which means the second set does go the way of Montenegro. We are going to a decider. Fantastic stuff. It is time now, though, to say goodbye to Samal Sabrosa. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us in the commentary box. We'll see you a little bit later in the show. So the scores now level at one set all. And who saw that coming in the earlier stages of that set? It was all hungry. And then there was a contentious call with the referee. That seems to uh, get in the minds of the two Hungarians. And since that point, it was all Montenegro. They level the score one all in this doubles final. The final commentator change of the evening. We can welcome back into the commentary box Barna Kovacvi, who's been running around nearly as much as the uh, tech ball players going back between our uh, production office and the commentary box. Welcome back, Barna. Welcome, welcome, all of you. Once again, you have a uh, very tough uh, shoes to fill. Uh, Samal Sabrosa. I always change a legend in the commentary box. So uh, let's have a look at these statistics then in the second set. And you can see those first serve uh, percentage really high there for Montenegro. Uh, second serve point, that's unbelievable. They had zero second serve points won in the first set. 100% of their second serve points won in the second set. Zero in the first, uh, surely that can't be right. That's an incredible improvement. Zero percent in the first set, 100% in the second set. That's unbelievable. They won every single second and serve point. Incredible. Well, if it is Montenegro that go on to win, Hungary are going to be ruining the opportunities they had to uh, put the match to bed in that second set. One set all. Edge ball. So we have a second serve from Montenegro. And according to our statistics, won 100% of their second serve points in that second set. Well, somehow keeping it alive. That's absolute superb athleticism. Hungary putting everything they can towards Montenegro, who have started to find a bit of rhythm in this final. But it is Hungary that take the opening point. I did not see that turnaround coming in that second set, did you? No, me neither. This was very surprising for me. That's uh, beyond the net. The celebration did come in from Montenegro, but uh, it is Hungary now with a 2-0 lead. Out. Second service. Point. 
beautiful smash from Banik again. They are starting this set like they started the first set. First service. Yeah, and out. indeed the uh, second, second set. Hungary were have always come out, out. all guns Double blazing. Point to Hungary. And that is now 4-0 they service. lead. Well, Hungary something about serve. Montenegro, they just don't First start service. set as well, do they? Foot fault. Second service. Four nil the score in this third and decisive set. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Well, Montenegro opened their account in this third set in style. A great rally. This is a tech ball at its absolute best. Beautiful defense from Montenegro. First service. Out. Second service. This smash is something that you just can't save. No, it's unstoppable. First when uh, Banyek is uh, on the outside and getting those smashes in, there is nothing his opponents can do. Well, that is a, a valiant effort there from uh, Blazovic to keep that point going, but just unable to uh, angle his foot around the ball. A great headed smash there by Montenegro. First the, uh, team of. Uh, Bogdan Marajevic and uh, Nikola Mitro. First service. Doing well to keep this match alive. 5 2 the score. They were down and out in that second set. And, uh, Illegal attack. I think that did cross the line of the net. I think that is the right decision by the referee. Chain service. It's questionable, but Montegro to serve. It was close. We'll see the replay here. Oh, that was so close. It looked like his head might First just service. have crossed the line. The rule is, of course, that no part of your body can cross that line. That's true. But we did see a uh, contentious decision going against Hungary in the second set. And at that point, uh, Montenegro started to mount their comeback. So I think uh, Hungary will probably feel uh, justice maybe a little bit more after that. And there is a fantastic oh. smash home by uh, Blazovic. Oh. Once again... Montenegro calling that decision into question. Has it been called as Point an edge ball? Point to Hungary. Or are they saying he touched the table? No, it does go the way of Hungary. 7 2 the score. It was close. Did it actually make contact with the table? Is that what they're saying? Yeah. It did so touch the table, yes. Yeah, so 7 2 the score. Five point advantage to Hungary, where they're not going to take anything for granted after that uh, second set. Out. Point and, uh, to Montenegro. And Blazovic just unable to get the ball home. First service. And it is now the turn of Montenegro to serve. Those terrific second serve statistics we saw in the uh, second set. I had 0% of second serves points won in the first set. 100% in that second set. Unbelievable. That's a turnaround if ever I saw one. Out. Point uh, Montenegro. Blazovic just uh, unable service. to, Hungary to serve. smash home at the moment. First service. As the uh, switch of serve comes in. Banyak serves. Blazovic now out wide. Banyak with the setup for the smash. Surely there's nothing Montenegro can do about that. Surely not. That is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, wow. Beautiful defense from Montenegro. If Montenegro end up winning this World Cup final, that is one of these moments they will look back on. Fantastic defense. Yeah, these smashes are super strong, but sometimes they are a bit predictable. Well, Montenegro reading the point well. First service. 
Hungary once again just uh, not able to capitalise on an early start to a set here comes the defensive play the uh, harvester coming in from uh, Banyak on the uh, outside and there is the smash Red well by Montenegro. Can they turn the fence into a tackle? No, they can't. Relief from Blazovic then. Absolute relief. First service. Out. Second service. Point to Montenegro. Running out of uh, arena to uh, run and chase that down. First service. 8 7 the score. Oh. Point to Montenegro. And Montenegro with the uh, head of smash service. out wide. Montenegro to serve. Their 10th winner of the First match service. so far. Leveling the scores at 8 all. You could not ask for a better final and Hungary once again taking the lead Montenegro arguing that the uh, ball crossed the line uh, the uh, player crossed the uh, line should I say and we're going to see on our replay now yeah his arm did cross the line but after the time after the point of the time charge was after was it yeah it was so right the decision then by the Second referee service. 8-9 the score, Out. and that's a double, double fault. Point to Hungary. Change side. In the final set they are changing hands. In the middle of the set. Hungary do seem to get themselves into good positions. First but then service. struggle to see out sets. They won the first set. They should have probably won the second set given that they were in such a high point, uh, point advantage Hungary. in that set. I think leading by seven or eight points at one point. A bit lucky. Now they're in First a three service. point advantage. 11-8 the score. Oh, just managing to avoid contact with the table. Blazovic are unable to return that smash and it is now 11-9. Banik is incredibly flexible. First service. Foot fault. Second service. Edge ball. Edge ball called. Oh, it scores. That's 11 9. It's uh, Hungary's seventh edge ball. Oh, good try that from Banyak. Point to Montenegro. Clipping the top of the net. First service. This is the closest final I've ever commentated. There's very, very little in this. Great stuff that there from Banyek, smashing it home. Montenegro are arguing every point here and they are... They're, are saying, they're saying it was an edge ball, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Oh, oh. No. It was, it was. First service. Yeah, the referee has given it as well, I think, hasn't he? Fault. Second service. Oh, and it's a double, double fault. fault. Hungary, and luck is certainly not going their way, is it? 11 all the score. Great serve that, well defended by Montenegro. Hungary are in trouble here, and Montenegro take the lead for the first time in this match. They've led sets before, but they have not led the overall score. One set all, 12 11 Montenegro lead. Out. Second service. There was the harvester, well defended there by Blagasevich. But it's long, 
Uh, Montenegro now starting to build a bit of a lead. Shane this is Sorry. worrying times for Hungary, but Bang great times for Montenegro. Yeah, and Banik didn't really um, miss the, these um, smashes before the game. Now he seems a bit uh, nervous, that's why they asked for the timeout. I think a timeout's probably the right decision at that point. Montenegro were in the ascendancy. So we say goodbye to uh, Barna Kovecvi, who has to go and do uh, other broadcasting duties. We are in the final stages of this Tech Ball World Cup doubles final. Hungary are now two points behind. They were five points ahead earlier in this set. They led the second set by a good six or seven points, possibly even more, and then ended up losing it. Montenegro are now two points to the good and in a very dominant position. 13-11 the score in the final stages of this match. Montenegro to serve. First service. In comes the serve. Oh, that's well played there by Blazovic. First service. Point to Montenegro. And Montenegro restore their two-point advantage, just six points Third away service. from victory in this World Cup final. Point it is Hungary. so tense here. Every point is so crucial. First service. Communication there by the Hungarians. Blazovic with the big foot up high. It's defended by Montenegro. Can they keep it alive? Yes, they can. The defence has been superb. Banyak at the back of the court, just a spectator at the moment. And it goes the way of Hungary. They level the match at 14 all. Goodness me, it could not be any tighter. First service. Oh, 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 oh. So tight. Montenegro restore their one point lead. First service. Good defensive play at the back of the court there. Point, Montenegro. And it goes the way of Montenegro. Hungary don't seem happy. Or was the edge ball perhaps called? Ah! Referees are... Uh, Confiding with the score. No, it does go the way of Montenegro. First they restore service. their two-point advantage. Now just four points away from victory. Second serve. First serve is no good. In comes the second serve. Montenegro now to attack. There comes the smash header. Defended well by Hungary. They'll bring it back into play. Could perhaps now we see Hungary mount an attack. Cautious play by both teams. There comes the attack. Smash header, but still kept alive by Hungary. Super rally this. There comes the harvester. 
no players wanting to commit to a smash in case a mistake is made. There's the header and it's in and it's good. And Montenegro have a three-point advantage. First service. Balak to serve then to try and keep her hopes alive for Hungary. They trail by three points in the latter stages of this doubles gold medal match. Very little in it between these two teams throughout the course of this match. And that was indeed a crossover of the net and Hungary pull a point back. First service. Out. Two points in it. Second service. Hungary would absolutely love a double fold here, wouldn't they? Montenegro not complying, though. Point. And Montenegro. again, that composure shows that second serve has been so crucial for Montenegro ever since first the service. first set. Fault. Second service. Lots of unforced errors for Hungary, proving their downfall at the moment. Huge smash Point though Hungary. by Banyi. This next point absolutely crucial. If it goes the way of Montenegro, they will set up the first, first service. match point. Oh, that is absolutely superb. Banyak with the smashes when it really counts. 18-17, the score. This is the final that just keeps on First giving. Service. Oh, and it just doesn't give for Banyak successful with the previous two points, but this is the match point. It could decide World Cup glory for Montenegro. First service. In comes the serve. Montenegro, could this be the moment? There's the head. Edge ball. Edge ball called, they will replay the points. Wow, this is tense. 19-17, the scores. Out. First serve is long. Service. It's going to have to be a second serve. You happen to feel that Montenegro are going to attack this. In comes ahead. This could be it. Defended well, though, by Hungary. There's the smash. Defended, though, by Montenegro. They're going to get a chance now. No. He crosses the net. One match point saved. First service. Out. It will be second another service. second serve for Blazovic. Oh, and it's another match point saved. Goodness me, just when you thought it was all over. Hungary dig deep, save two match points, and we are locked at 19 all. Out. Second service. So it has to be two clear points. Montenegro looking to set up another match point of their own. Blazovic unable to control the smash. It is a third. So Banyik that was. It is a third match point. And would you believe it's a swap of sides. 2019. It does not get any more dramatic than this. I can promise Hungary you that serve. the second Tech Ball World Cup here in Rennes, France. We are at the third match point. Hungary managed to save two. Are they going to be able to save a third? Possibly not. Point to Hungary. Well, they do save the match points. Goodness me. Change service. Montenegro the character to being shown by the Hungarians at the moment is absolutely phenomenal. A third match point saved. Montenegro must wonder what they've got to do to try and win this. Out. And that's long by Blazovic. Point to Montenegro. 
Referees once again deciding what to do, I think. No, it has gone the way Change service. of Montenegro. Bogdan Marajevic and Nikola Mitro with their fourth match point. First it is hungry service. to serve. Two days of tech ball. It all comes down to this. Hungary looking to save another match point. Montenegro looking to send it home. And that Edgeball. is... Edgeball. Not that. It's, I think, called as an edge ball. We're going to see the replay here. Did it even make contact with the First table? service. Whew, goodness me. Heart in your mouth moment there for the Hungarians and the Montenegrins. There's the head. That is indeed that. Montenegro take their fifth match point. Look just how much that means to them. Absolutely phenomenal final. You could not ask for more. Drama from beginning to end. 21-19 the score in the third and deciding set. We wanted a close final, we wanted it to be tense and that is what we got. The second Tech Ball World Cup has delivered at the highest of stages. Many congratulations to Montenegro, Bogdan Marevic and Nikola Mitro are the World Cup winners, the gold winners in this doubles final. You have to feel for Hungary. You have to feel for Cheba Banyik and Adam Blazovic. They were ahead by seven or eight points in that second set and it just didn't work out for them. But it is Montenegro who are the champions. They take gold, they take the prize money. They dug deep, they showed resolve, they showed consistency. And my goodness me, did they earn that gold medal. Hungary are crestfallen. They know just how close they came. Nobody wants to be a beaten finalist. This then, a replay of the match point. The smash home by Montenegro. And that was the moment they realised they were the World Cup winners. Nothing that uh, Blazovic could do. A trailing leg. That is what it means to Montenegro to be the champions. If you are watching at home, make sure you don't go anywhere. We have the award ceremony to bring you in a few moments time. This is, uh, of course, the crowning moment for all of these athletes. Here though are the statistics for that uh, third and deciding set. Not much in it. First serves key once again. Montenegro with a high first serve, uh, her first serve percentage. Pure respect between these two teams, between these two nations. 42 countries from around the world taking part. So just a moment then to look back on some of the final moments of that absolutely exhilarating doubles final. It was Hungary who were in the ascendancy in the early stages of that match. Montenegro though hanging on in especially in that second set when all looks lost and look how much that means
control and composure. Hungary battled throughout. It only came down to a couple of points in the end. Jawad El Ajoui, s'il vous plaît, sous les applaudissements du public. Le président de l'association française de Techball. So, building up uh, to the awards ceremony. Starting, of course, with the bronze medals. So we're going to hand over now to our uh, pitch side analysis to talk us through. In front of the table, sir. In front of the table, please. The closing stages of this competition. And, of course, the awards ceremony. Please show your applause for the following officials. Martin Gorman from United Kingdom and Adelino Diaz from Luxembourg. Les deux arbitres récompensés, Martin Gorman pour la Grande-Bretagne et Adelino Diaz pour le Luxembourg. Bravo. On peut les Thank applaudir bien, bien fort. Merci. Merci messieurs les arbitres. Merci également au président de l'association française de Techball, M. Jawad El Ajri. Merci beaucoup. Now, let's go to our award ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the victory ceremony of the singles tournament of the second Techball World Cup. Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue à la cérémonie des équipes finalistes de la Coupe du Monde de Techball en tournoi. To present the medals and accompanying awards, please welcome the following football legends and Techball ambassadors. Mr. Robert Pires, Mr. William Gallas and Simon Sabrosa. Pour remettre les médailles et trophées, merci d'accueillir les légendes du football et ambassadeurs du Techball. Robert Pires, William Gala, Simao Sabrosa. Okay, let's pursue. Ladies and gentlemen. Mesdames et messieurs. The three athletes are joining us on stage for the award ceremony, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the bronze medal representing Poland, Adrian Dutzak. Mesdames et messieurs, troisième place et médaille de bronze pour le représentant de la Pologne, Adrian Dutzak. Applaudissements, s'il vous plaît. The winner of the silver medal, representing Hungary, Arpad Sipos. Mesdames et messieurs, deuxième place, c'est médaille d'argent, représentant la Hongrie, Arjad Sipos. And the winner of the gold medal and 2018 world champion in singles, representing Romania, Borna Ceci. Mesdames et messieurs, accueillons le champion du monde 2018, représentant la Roumanie, Borna Ceci. Mr. Robert Pires presents the medals. Robert euh, Pires remet les médailles. S'il vous plaît, Robert. Mr. William Gallas presents the trophies. Mr. William Gallas remet les trophies.
And Mr. Simao Sabrosa presents the checks. Mr. Simao Sabrosa remet les checks. The prize money for the a bronze medal. $4,000. 4000 dollars pour le troisième. 6000 dollars pour le deuxième et le chèque. 10 000 dollars pour notre gagnant. Eh oui, 10 000 dollars pour le, le vainqueur. Bravo, nouveau champion du monde. Congratulations to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, I please invite you to stand for the national anthem of Romania. Voilà, je vais inviter, s'il vous plaît, tout le monde à se lever afin d'écouter l'hymne national, s'il vous plaît, de la Roumanie. Applaudissements, s'il vous plaît, pour ces trois champions. For this incredible podium, thank you very much. Bravo, félicitations, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Nous allons passer maintenant à la remise de prix pour les doubles. Merci, messieurs. Allez, on peut les applaudir à nouveau, bien bien fort. Merci, messieurs, pour ce spectacle. Et ce très très joli podium. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Have a great party to celebrate. <laughs> we'll faire la fête hein, pour uh, fêter la victoire. Bravo. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the victory ceremony of the doubles tournament of the second Czech Bowl, the World Cup. Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue à la remise du prix du tournoi double de la deuxième Coupe du Monde de Czech Bowl. To present the medals and accompanying awards, please welcome the following officials. Mr. Gabor Borsani, President of the International Tech Bowl Federation. Mr. Georgi Gatian, Vice President of the International Tech Bowl Federation. And Mr. Victor Uzar, Vice President of the International Tech Bowl Federation. Pour remettre les médailles et trophées, merci d'accueillir les officiels, Monsieur Gabor. Varsani, président de la Fédération internationale de Techball. Monsieur Georgi Gatien, vice-président de la Fédération internationale de Techball. Et enfin, Monsieur Victor Hussard, vice-président de la Fédération internationale de Techball. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the bronze medal representing Romania, Ilyes. Zapolic and Zolt Lazar. Mesdames et messieurs, troisième place, c'est médaille de bronze représentant la Roumanie, Ilyes Zapolic et Zolt Lazar. The winners of the silver medal representing Hungary, Adam Blasovic and Jabba Banik. 
Mesdames et messieurs, deuxième place, médaille d'argent représentant la Hongrie, Adam Plazovic, Gabor Banic. And the winners of the gold medal and 2018 world champion in doubles, representing Montenegro, Bojan Majorevic and Mes Nikola Mitro. Mesdames et messieurs, accueillons les champions du monde 2018, représentant le Montenegro, Bogdan Majorevic, Nikola Mitro. Mr. Gabor Borsani presents the medals. Gabor Borsani, président de la Fédération internationale de Techball, remet les médailles. Congratulations, Mr. Giorgi Gatian presents the trophies. Mr. Giorgi Gatian remet les trophies. Mr. Victor Hussard presents the checks. Mr. Victor Hussard, uh, vice president of the Federation de International de Tech Ball, remet l'échec. Congratulations again to the athletes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to please rise for the national anthem of Montenegro. Je vous invite maintenant, mesdames et messieurs, s'il vous plaît, à vous lever pour l'hymne national du Montenegro. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please show recognition for your World Cup medalists. À la nouveau, il mérite bien sûr vos applaudissements. Magnifique podium du double pour cette deuxième Coupe du Monde de Tech Ball ici à Reims. Allez, on peut applaudir. Allez-y, applaudissements, s'il vous plaît. Nous allons passer à la photo officielle. Et on va inviter. Donc il va y avoir cette photo-là et on va inviter tous les compétiteurs, Sandy, à se rendre au niveau de l'écran géant pour la photo générale. Voilà, tous and les participants concurrents sur la photo. We are calling all the other athletes of this World Cup to join us next to the big screen for the family picture, please. All the athletes are called opposite 
the podium for the family picture just in front of the big screen. Et vous restez avec nous bien sûr pour le show final. Il y aura la photo et un show final. Voilà une belle surprise vous attend. Restez encore un petit moment. Merci. We hope you enjoyed this day with us. And we had a really great time. Thank you for your cheering on. Merci à vous pour uh, vos applaudissements tout au long de cette journée. On a passé une très très belle après-midi avec vous. En espérant vous voir pour la troisième édition du Tech Ball, le championnat uh, l'an prochain. Allez, l'année prochaine, effectivement, champion du monde. Et un grand merci à la ville de Reims, M. Arnaud Robinet et toutes ses équipes, ainsi qu'aux partenaires MGN pour cette belle manifestation. Tous les participants, s'il vous plaît, peuvent se diriger dès maintenant près de l'écran. Allez-y, hein, ceux qui sont en tribune, tous les participants, voilà, près de l'écran. All the athletes, you can go for the official picture. All the athletes, please go to the main screen for the official picture, the family picture of Tech Ball. All the athletes are called for the official photo next to the big screen, please. Allez, tous les participants, please. tous les joueurs, tous ceux qui ont défendu. La couleur des 42 nations sont attendues au niveau de l'écran géant photo avec également bien sûr les ambassadeurs du Tech Ball. C'est le show final ici à Renetis. Congratulations again and see you next year! concludes the Tech Ball World Cup here in Rams, France. What a fantastic event. Sadly, that's all we have time for. Many congratulations to all of the winners. We'll see you next time.